and welcome back to another episode of Podcast 572. As always, I'm your host, Kyle. I'm joined by my two friends, Dan and Matt. And we're gonna we're gonna talk about some games we've been playing. Uh, not as big of a list right now because we're kind of in like an interim of like we're on the cusp of some big things coming out here. Well, the uh, other thing too is like the main stuff I'm looking to play in this like time period is RPGs, and so like I can't do yeah, all of them at the that's, same time. <laughs> that's they, where I'm at too because they like, all play that, too differently from each other. So like I got to finish one to move to the next one. Well, and so I think on. you and I both have Dio Field Chronicles sealed, and yeah, like I. I I just you. don't have the time yet. Star Ocean is real soon. And then, yeah, and I'm I gotta finish all that. this before Crisis Core comes out. So it's like, yeah, I've only been playing very minimal the past couple. Exactly. Of years. So, but we got a lot of news. We got a bunch of emails, another nice mix of emails. Yes. To go through. So I will kick it off as always and talk about what I've played. So uh, mostly what I've played in the last two weeks has been uh, the, your you know, quick time event story driven games, because it's just I guess it's just how it is right now. Uh, I finished As Dusk Falls uh, is one of my favorite games of the year. Uh, it I think, as I said last week, and I can attest to it even more, it, it, it is a at times incredibly dark game. Uh, yeah. I did get to the see. I, I talked there was a sequence where they're like, you can skip this if this bothers you. I didn't skip it, but uh, it, I mean, it, if it's the kind of thing that will bother you, I would say skip it. Let me ask you this: so, is it is it worse than No Russian? It's n- no, it's it's dealing okay. with it's dealing with a potential suicide. Okay, but basically, like you can either choose to stop it or not. And that's oh. probably where the darkness okay. comes in. So, yeah, well, probably. With that, I'm not going to say the characters yeah, or who it sure, involves or anything, sure. but like that, that I can see people going, yeah, I don't want to touch that. So right. I'd be curious to know like how they handle that. If you say no, <laughs> they just make a decision for you. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure they probably, um, there's a canonical decision that they did, that they decide. Yeah. They did. Um, I looked it up after I finished it. It took me, it took me about eight hours um, to get through it. And like, I didn't look at any guide or anything. I just played it blind. I got what's considered the okay ending and I was fine with the okay. ending. <laughs> so sure. uh, there's a good ending. There's an okay ending. Then there's obviously a bad one where you can let like everybody die, like any of those games work. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was good with the ending that it, that it gave. So one of the things that's kind of cool is the last chapter of that game. You jump forward uh, like, so the game takes place in 98. You jump forward to like 2010 and then okay. the, there's like there's the family that's being held hostage at the motel. The little girl is grown up now and she's like dealing with, you know, remembering what happened. And that's kind of the last chapter of that game. So but you can make interesting decisions about how you want to deal with that. And that's where the story kind of gets even more interesting. So it's it's a very well done game. So you just have to get past the weird jankiness of how it looks in motion. Is that Xbox um, only or is it just Game Pass? I, what that's what I was trying to figure out. I think it's just Game Pass. Okay. Because it's on PC. I know you can okay. buy it on Steam. Right. Uh, as well. And I, I believe, I think I want to say the other day when I was at Walmart, I saw a physical copy for like 30 bucks. For oh, the interesting. Okay. But I don't think it's, I, I imagine it will come to PlayStation because there's no reason for everything it does. Point. Yeah. Yeah. It's whatever deal Microsoft cut. Yeah, exactly. That's um. Cool. In keeping in tradition with Game Pass, I jumped. I briefly jumped in this game. I'll play more of it because it's a game up my alley. Moon Scars, which is like another Metroidvania game. It's got a really cool uh, art style, but uh, it reminds me of uh, that Slain Back to Hell game that came out a couple years ago. That's kind of how the uh, visual style of it is. But okay. I played very, very, very little of it. And I was like, it was more of a like, I'm going to see if this is something I'll like. And I turned around and played like maybe half hour. I was like, yeah, I'll come back to this. So... <laughs> Um, the other big game I've been playing is the quarry um, where I'm really high and up on as dust falls. I'd say I'm not as high in the quarry. Yeah. Um, and that's not even just because of the ridiculous $70 price tag, which I don't think I've seen the game at that price since it's come out. <laughs> like every time I, I go to the store, yeah. it's like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah. So, I think I see it at 50 all the time. Yeah. I think they realized real fast. Like <laughs> people aren't going to pay $70 for that game. Um, my biggest issue with it is like I've played every single one of these super massive, you know, quick time adventure games. I like pretty much all of them. Um, whereas like Until Dawn, I think is an excellent game that kind of balances like the teenage bullshit and the horror. This it's game is way, yeah, that one's this is way too far in the teenage bullshit category where like they are just 
fucking around for like the first half of that game until they get to the spooky, scary stuff. And then after that, like it's it's gotten to the point where like I'm more interested in it now, but there's way too much of that shit at the beginning. And it just keeps going. Like even my even my girlfriend, like she watched me play like maybe an hour of it the other day. And she's just like, this is like hard for me to watch. <laughs> so um, but it's not like visually it's the best one of those games in terms of visuals. So like it's I'm playing on PS5. So, yeah, I will. I'll finish that up probably this weekend. But like I, I the same thing I would say is like if you like those ga- types of games, just obviously don't pay seventy dollars for it but i really don't think you can find it anywhere for that price at this point so but i even like even 45 like i i only got it because i you know traded saints row and i paid mm-hmm. five dollars out of pocket and i'm good with that but i'd say like the 20 25 dollar range is where it should be like the dark pictures games that would so. be one of those things where like digitally i think it'll go on sale for sure for i've seen 20 it to 30 at some point pretty soon and i mean remember black friday is a month away at this point yeah and like no, we're a bunch of shit's going to go to the correct I got my list on Black Friday. Yeah, <laughs> I got my list. I'm ready. Fingers crossed um, for Sonic to go cheap real quick. Hey, man, I, I, I watched that trailer the other day for Sonic, like the most recent one. I'm, I'm actually pumped for that game. I don't like, I, yeah, I don't fucking care. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I'm I just want to, I want to play a Sonic game. Sonic I'm like, game. screw it. Like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. But I really so. don't want to pay full price for it. Like, no, that's the one thing no, I need to, I, I want to avoid. My prediction with that game is it's going to be like 40 Black Friday. And that's yeah. good. I'm good. 40, I'm good that. I can yeah, accept 40, that. maybe 45, because sometimes Black Friday prices are weird. And yeah. like 45 I can accept or that. 47. Yeah, that's where I'll buy it. Um, I talked about this a couple, maybe, gosh, it could have been a couple months ago, but uh, Power Wash Simulator had that stupid glitch. Mm-hmm. I uh, followed some advice on the Power Wash Simulator uh, Reddit, and I was able to get that uh issue fixed but the workaround for it is kind of ridiculous and it only will work for you if you specifically uh can play on the pc so basically how the how you fix it and again you can it's only if you have a pc you have to go it it specifically revolves around this subway level which is the worst level in the game takes it took me like over the course of a week probably an hour each day i was like i'll play like an hour just to get it done because it's it's not a fun level um but basically you have to beat that level on pc because there's something wrong with the autosave for the council on that specific level the minute mm. i finished that level and i booted up the very next level that unlocked i went over to my xbox i booted up don't see that issue at all anymore and i played the next like two levels on my xbox <laughs> so that's weird uh i really hope they fix it because again for people that maybe only have a council they can't do that <laughs> yeah so there's no way to fix it well that. and it sounds like people have at least figured out where the problem is. So you'd think it would be. Yeah. And that's why I was like, it was literally like maybe a week ago where I was like, man, I wonder if, if there's either a patch or something. Cause like it is one of my favorite games of the year. I want to finish it. I'm so close to finishing the damn right. game. So, uh, but I'm glad I'm able to go back to that now and how I will finish it up. Uh, the last game I played, which I actually streamed uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll plug is I'll plug in uh, October. It's it's horror fest month for me over at Marvel Gallery. So I'm playing horror games. I played the latest uh, puppet combo game. The people that made Murder House. Okay. It's called <laughs> Deadly Night. Uh, it's super fucked up. Uh, I think the I've first seen thing. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing it says when you start playing is, do you want to play with sensors on or off? I'm like, well, I'm streaming the game. So I got to turn those on um it's 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 crazy so like the game starts your girl that is like hitchhiking and she's talking to this other girl that she's hitchhiking with about how she got in a fight with like her boyfriend or something and then she's like she gets dropped off at this hotel you go in the hotel manager's like super fucking creepy weirdo guy uh starts asking her like extremely not safe for work questions (laughs) and then she's just like I need a room. And so you go and like sleep in the room. Some, some stuff starts to happen. Next thing you know, you wake up and the room's on fire and it's like, what the fuck's going on? So like, she, you can't get out of the room. And then finally the window breaks. You're able to get out of the room. You go back downstairs. You talk to uh, the, the, or you go to talk to the hotel manager. He's not there. You go into the room. You actually get locked in the room because he finds you in there and he, you discover his secret, which is he's fucking videotaping everybody. I think I've seen this. I, somebody, <laughs> I think I saw somebody play this where like, so, yeah, it doesn't, it, it has like an old, they school. show that 
yeah right? it's a P- it's ps1 graphics VHS type stuff yeah vhs yeah and so like when you get into that room uh and you're watching that stuff like if you don't put the sensor on that's not censored they show oh, what's going oh, on no i mean again it's ps1 graphics so yeah, what are you really gonna see still. but like uh and then that guy comes in is like what the fuck are you doing and so he locks you in there and then you you find a way to get out and then some like some other shit happens because you're like well i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna get my bag and so you go upstairs go get your bag and that dude's just fucking dead in your hotel room with like a pitchfork through his head and he's nailed to the wall and i'm like uh and you get these so you go downstairs and that's where the there's like a van that's like running and it's like what the fuck's going on with this van and so you get closer to it and that's when you start getting chased by like the killer and so he chases you until you you cannot you cannot win this part and that's the point of the game like right he will chase you until he catches you and that's the intro of the game so oh okay and because it confused me because i'm like oh i fucking died well i see how this game's going and then it goes through the credits next thing you wake up in this house tied to like a water pipe or something and you break out of that and that's the first part there's like four levels i only played the first level of it but it's like you have to try and find pieces to unlock the door to get out of this house and this dude's just chasing you around the house. Okay. Got and it. it's fucking terrifying. Cause the, the, gotcha. the, the, the jump, the way they make the jump scares and the noises, it's fucking crazy. So, um, it's good. I really liked it. I will definitely finish it. I did also see that those people that made murder house, their game that came out last year, this time on PC blood watch, which I have on PC. I've is seen coming to Xbox too. this week. Yeah. Oh, so I'm okay. going to get it and play it. There. Oh, dope. It'll be on PlayStation as well. So that kind of wraps up what I've been playing, though. So, yeah, uh, like I said, it's been it's been a weird uh, two weeks, but I'm I'm going to finish uh, the quarry and then I'm probably going to play something smaller. And then I want to jump into uh, Star Ocean when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I really like that demo. A couple weeks, right? Almost like about a month. Yeah. But now, well, I yeah. haven't played anything big or new. You have actually beaten something new. Yeah. So I will turn so- it over to you and you can tell me all about it because i have it it's sealed yeah but i've not played it so the biggest thing i played the last couple weeks was uh valkyrie elysium i got that um i have technically beaten the game um i haven't finished it because there's actually four endings i have three of them one of them super easy oh damn and then the other three kind of um on the last there's nine chapters in this game and kind of as you play they get increasingly like longer but so chapter nine basically when you beat it you can the game kind of resets before you've beaten it but you get to keep your progress and stuff so you have to play through the chapter okay. nine like four times not a big deal just because um oh wow one ending is really short and then the other ones um i, I it turns out i actually did the true ending first i didn't realize that okay so, okay. so i have to go back and do the <laughs> other one the true ending is nuts because like the final the final level and like the final boss and stuff is it's a boss rush kind of a thing where like you're you cool. to kill multiple things, but okay. kind of go back to the beginning. Um, so the full game took me about 30 hours. It's, it's really it's not bad. No, it's yeah. And, and like I said, I'm going to do the cleanup cause I just have to do a couple more um, levels over again to find stuff I missed. And then at yeah. some point, at some point I'll have to do a hard run. I'm not looking okay. forward to that, but there's a do big, you think it's a good follow up to the other ones that came out. I know it's been a long time since there's been a Valkyria. Well, I mean, the last one uh, was, was PS2, PS2, so it's been a while. Yeah. Um, Two generations. Oh, yeah. th- it's weird because, like, the game the game's very different. Like, I don't even know... I get that people don't like it. Like, a lot of people out there don't like it. Um, I saw that, yeah. Which but I, I was, don't... It was surprising, but... I'm kind of playing it not even thinking of it as, like, a follow-up or a sequel. I kind of just yeah. consider this, like, its Some own thing. thing. Okay. It's been almost 20 years yeah, or 15, 15 to 20 years since the valkyrie game came out yeah like i'm surprised it even exists i and, um, still go back to that playstation uh, event where we both were like they're making a sequel i could not series? believe that yeah, yeah like I, that was yeah. the weirdest announcement <laughs> that's why i wanted to buy it but I, to make more of those, so. I consider it its own game and i consider it to be yeah. it's pretty good like the story is shallow like if you're playing this game for the story i think you're you're kind of setting your, a good time. you're setting yourself up to be kind of disappointed yeah. just because like okay. she's a Valkyrie, it's Ragnarok, and Odin wants you to go get some souls and do this other stuff. And like, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty much it. Like there's not um yeah. they, they do go into it more and more because um 
one of the cooler things about the game is like as you go through it and you finish certain missions you you get what are like essentially like partners which there's okay. like a, a lightning one and a, and a holy one and some other and you can call them out during fights and they go off and they attack and they can do skills and all that kind of stuff and they really help because every enemy has like an elemental weakness okay so you kind of have to play smart about okay. that it's an action like hack and slash rpg i was trying to think of something to like equate it to that people might be familiar with i'm like i don't want to say That's it's bay- it's bayonetta but like cry like it's kind of like that it's kind of like devil yeah. may cry uh in a weird way it's kind of like strangers of paradise um, <laughs> okay well because because it's like you get different <laughs> weapons and like the different weapons yeah. do different things and they have different combos and okay you can yeah. like um you attack things and kill things and then you can the whole thing's about like building chains so you kill something and then like you could like throw out like a chain at him and like pull yourself closer and keep the combo going and stuff <laughs> like they get, they have a little combo meter that goes up in the side and that's part of okay. your ranking like are you going to get an s rank on this level or not you can get that thing to um you can sure max, you can max it for that, at right? 999 yeah okay. the trophy is only 300 and yeah. for a while i was like man i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get to 300 and now i can max it out so it's not, it's not a big okay. deal because you definitely get um <laughs> far more powerful as the game goes okay. on like you are and then if you go back to chapter one to go do something you can run through it it's not a problem um like and i think that's part of why it's structured where like chapter one is pretty short and chapter eight and nine are pretty long just because yeah, by then sense. things are stronger um I really like the combat. I think it's good. Uh, you get a bunch of different spells and you can kind of like swap them out where on the fly. So like if, if you're fighting a whole bunch of fire stuff, put it in a fire spell. There's different levels of spells. Um, okay. It's easy to upgrade. It doesn't really hold you back. It's not especially hard. I think I died once, maybe twice. You, you're probably playing on what? Normal. I'm just okay, on normal for now because I got to do a hard run. Um yeah. There is no new game plus yet, so I don't know if I want to do it right now. The rumor is there's one's once coming. That they're going to add it, okay. so I might wait because there is supposed to be a oh, November okay. update. Um, this isn't really a spoiler, but there's like a there's a dark Valkyrie in the game, and you fight okay. her. You fight her a couple times. Supposedly you're going to be able to play as her, which will be pretty cool. And she's supposed to have a different skill set. Oh, okay, okay. Um, which that could be fun to do. And like, there's going to be DLCs and stuff, which I think are free. Um. I mean, overall, well, that's yeah, exactly. Benefit. And overall, I really, I like the game. Um, I don't consider it to be a follow-up. I consider it to be its own thing. And then it's weird because, it's like, like, obviously, successor kind of thing. A little bit, but it's also weird they because they're releasing, <laughs> they're releasing that other game soon. Oh, it got yeah, delayed. Right. It got delayed, which yeah. is fine. They don't need to come out anywhere close to each other. No, just because they are different. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's voice acted. It looks good. Um. I thought it looked good from the demo. I'll say I've had like two or three like very big, not very big, but like slowdown periods where okay. I've killed too many things at once. And sometimes when you <laughs> kill them, the frame rates tank, they, they like explode into oh, these yeah. gems Ooh, that you need to upgrade okay. and stuff. So like stuff is popping out and like, okay. I found that if that, if I, if I could feel it start to happen, I just stop attacking for like two seconds and it'll be fine. But, uh, okay. but yeah, literally it would be like, you kill something and then there's another one in the background and something explodes yeah. and, gem, and you're like oh we're going to single digits here yeah uh, but that only happened a couple times um i had one hard crash but again it's a playstation the 5 PlayStation. game in 22 so <laughs> it, it'll crash um yeah like it, it was good it took me you know i played it for since the day came out 30 so hours a couple hours yeah 30 like, hours seems fair and uh um, for, for what it is to do one more run of it uh on hard i'll do that once if i can new game plus it if i can't i might run hold for a while but yeah uh just because like deal field i have sealed and then i've um sorrow soon. i should say i opened my deal field and i installed it and then i was like i, I don't think i want to start there right now yeah it's i don't want to like touch it 80 hours i don't want to touch it just because like i'm, I'm playing an action rpg and that's a different game <laughs> yeah and then star exactly. ocean's an action rpg and then crisis core is in december so like i kind of have all these things lined yeah. up and i don't want to play them at the same time exactly. um is it worth the full price i mean yeah i i guess it depends i, it's I bought hard. it to get it's the steel book to- it's for me it's hard to value that one because i feel like it's a game that will not have a lot of copies i don't think it's gonna sell that yeah much. i think the other part of the game not problem that was the, game, my but thing the thing about it. about it is it really and why and maybe why people are disappointed is it's only for certain people 
right? Yeah, it's, like your it's average, not a yeah, your average PlayStation not person is not going to walk in there and just pick up that game off the shelf and buy it. Like no, I think it was God, for no. made for certain people, and yeah. um, I, so I could see how it could let some of those people down. But I take a lot of that stuff with a grain of salt now because it's just like it's for not sure. a bad game. Like to give it like a five because you're upset about like it's not a bad game. Like the game <laughs> is fine. Yeah, I think we I think we grade certain things harsher than we should for a while. Like, um. <laughs> That tactics ogre like remaster whatever is coming out and people are gonna be like, oh, I forgot to look the same. Yeah, I know that's coming too. That's only fifty bucks, I think, which is good. I think so. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just everybody's gonna have opinions about it that like it or don't. It's it's it is what it is. But I I, I like it. I'm not I'm not upset. I bought it at full price. Uh, it's probably honestly, it's probably what I'll jump into next, just simply because like I feel like that's a game I can get through in a couple weeks before Star Ocean. Easily. Yeah, for sure, you could finish it so. before that easily, and it's just an action RPG. And if you're not playing to platinum it like I am, you don't have to worry. Probably about, not like, right away. It really, honestly, depends. You don't have to worry about going back or doing yeah. the four endings and all this because one of the endings yeah. is like there's flowers throughout each chapter. You have to get all of them. Okay. And then okay. in chapter nine, mm-hmm. there's a final one that appears and one ending is if you get it. And then mm-hmm. two of them are if you don't get it. Oh, okay. because it's so like I got it. So I got the okay. true ending. But then okay. I had to replay one where I specifically did not get it and beat the level. And then the, and the final boss is different if you do that. That's cool. Um, and then now I have to do it again where like I don't get it. And then I go do something else and then play it again and then that final boss is different too so it's it's weird <laughs> okay. because they definitely planned out far more endings than this game needs but yeah um yeah it's good i i would if you like the original the other ones i'd still say play it you're not gonna be yeah it's not it's not gonna kill you like it's not <laughs> like some of these reviews <laughs> I, I mean i read these reviews and they're like six out of ten like the store it's like come on dude it's like it's it's not really a successor so it's, it's been 15 yeah. years like let it go yeah like, what do you want uh, it to be? i don't what do you want it to be do you just want it to be the same game again because we're already giving you that in a couple months uh yeah and then the only other thing i really messed around with more was i played more warriors all-stars just because okay. muso game kind of a thing and i i was telling you i found out a couple more things were like there's actually more characters than i thought and then yeah like there's that means there's a lot more yeah. stuff to do than i thought there was because i was like maybe i mm-hmm. could platinum it because the the rarity on it is pretty rare and i finally found a guide that kind of tells you do this mission do this mission do this mission that's ending one, yeah and then so on so i probably will at some point but when i found out that there were more characters like you have to see all these different cutscenes, and you have to collect all these different items it's like gee god lord <laughs> there's so much more in that game than i thought there was it's like three times the size of what i thought it was <laughs> uh, but it's still fun. It's just a Dynasty Warriors game. I play some more of it today just to finish a couple more missions and recruit a more, some more characters. And all yeah, that stuff, so. for sure. But gotcha. other than that, yeah, I mean, Diofield's probably next. And then fingers so crossed similar. I can get that out of the way before Star Ocean <laughs> or uh, the Tactics Ogre thing. Yeah. How about you, Matt? What have you been playing? Um, Just the Evil Within 2. Uh, I haven't gotten too, too much more into it. I, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Not even going to fucking lie. Like, <laughs> I, I, you know, walking around the town, going into different places, just kind of like browsing it's and easy, stuff. It's easy and, to fall off the main path in that game, to be fair. Yeah. Because there's a lot of good keeps side happening. Content. Yeah, it's really, it, it's actually, you know, I played the evil within the first yeah. one and it just didn't grip me the way that this one did. So I, I have to say that I, I'm enjoying what I've playing, what I've been playing of this one so yeah, far. Exactly. So I'm, I'm stoked to get more into the meat of it. If I can just keep myself focused and actually <laughs> get into the more meat of it, instead of just doing like fucking side hustles and shit and like, just no nope, Matt, stay focused on the shit you actually have to do. So I'm hoping to tackle more of that this week, and then hopefully, I don't know how big that game is. Oh, I guess I need to figure it like, out. I'm trying to remember because this, I mean, it's been five years since that game came out. Now and I think about it, yeah, I want to say it took me like 25, 30 hours. There's a lot of side content. Like there's a lot yeah. of different. Like you, you'll be going on the main path, and then it's all of a sudden like, well, this fucked up thing happened over here. 
go talk to this person about that. And then it that leads to a different exactly. side mission. There's a bunch of those. Yeah. So not to mention the different like m- manipulated environments you'll get sucked into, which is cool in that game. So. Yeah. But I mean, so far I'm excited and I'm hoping to play more of it. I probably need to find something else to kind of work on outward. Uh, I want to work on power wash, but then I kind of don't feel like dealing with that glitch. So I think I might just start working more on house flipper. Honestly, actually. I mean, yeah, if I if I would say in your situation, because you haven't played a lot of house flipper, go for that one. That yeah. game can yeah, that game can thinking. also be glitchy, but not at the level where it's like, okay, go to the PC version and beat this level here. Yeah, geez. like there's nothing <laughs> like that in that game. So it's it yeah. can be glitchy with like yeah. you broke down this wall, but these pieces are still there. That's fucked up. Like reload the level, but <laughs> and you got to get House Slipper done before House Slipper Two comes out. Exactly, I cannot wait. I cannot oh, wait. And then he got was a uh, huge oh, announcement. What was that <laughs> other thing I saw? Just got released or was coming to? There's like that Castle one you got announced for PlayStation. There's like castle I saw renovator some, or something. Oh, yeah. yes. I saw something about that. Too, I mean, that's so. a, that's a genre now, which is fine. I'm okay. That's with fine. It. <laughs> it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I have know. gas station simulator on PC. I've, I've watched that. that. That's that one seems pretty good. That one seems pretty. <laughs> the one that I'm really <laughs> waiting for, and and uh, obviously you know our our mutual friend Ross into this one. It's hard for me to get him into a game, but you'll understand why he's into this one. Police simulator. Oh, Lord. That one? No. It's, oh, man. It's co-op, you are co-op cops just busting people, taking them down. Oh, my God. In a fictional city. Uh, oh. It is out. So it is in early access on Steam, but it is actually out on consoles full release like November 11th, I think you, I saw. You know what I like about those oh, games? Wow. 40 bucks. And, or like that whole series of like House Flipper and like the barn finders and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I like, I like when that shit gets like weirdly paranormal or like just like yeah it's like okay. something weird's going on you're like something. <laughs> so i'll tell you something fucked up with power watch so the yeah. level that i'm working on right now it's like a magician's uh it's it's basically like a little buggy that mm-hmm. you're washing that's like a magician's like buggy because it's at a car oh yeah right? sure okay so okay. outside yeah. is a magic ball and one of the things you have to clean oh, so God. i'm fucking cleaning this there's just like a cat in it like yeah like i didn't notice it because like i'm looking i'm like i'm looking at this ball i'm like well that sure looks like a cat's face and then i look behind me i'm like there's no cat and yeah sure enough if you like pan around this magic ball and look into it there's like a cat and a tree and like a whole different thing going on in there i have no idea there's like, weird shit like that i like they when do games the same do like house flipper too tiny weird shit like that happens in yeah games. like the barn finders game it's it's silly because like at a certain point the game just kind of goes in that direction but yeah. early on in the game, it's like they do, they do little nods to it. And you're like, what is going on in this game? Like, I thought it was just like I'm clearing out some stupid barn and selling this shit. And then all of a sudden there's like <laughs> aliens and like, you, you know what I mean? Like, I love it when yeah, you know, exactly. those games that seem like they should just be straightforward. Yeah. Clean this, you know, fix this. And it turns out there's something something else weird is going on. There, like, that's a good there's choice. a good level in House Flipper where like you're looking at the map and there's like a you, like you're going in it's it's a basement of one of the houses and there's literally a hidden room that has like a safe with money in it and it has like a little like story <laughs> oh, of like these people stole this money and hit it like yeah that's, that's good, cool there's stuff like that in that game where it's like <laughs> what's happening here i like so, that stuff yeah. that's what i hope my next my next house has. <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> just find some room they're <laughs> knocking out the walls man yeah, all right well we'll go ahead and kick over to news we got a lot of it um i will say at the top of this Two big video game adaptation trailers came out. We got like six six emails. I didn't put any of them in here because they're all the same thing. What are your thoughts on yeah. for one of them? But then the other one, not a single fucking email. And I just thought that was funny. But uh, the first one, they put up a last like the full trailer for the last of us TV show. Um, and I I mean, I'll just say my thoughts on it. Like that. It's, it looks fine. Yeah, like, I still I don't, would say I don't need it, but yeah. for what I, it is, it looks fine. I don't have a problem with it. I think um, everybody looks fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think that, yeah. that game works better as a TV show than a movie. For um, sure. Yeah, for sure. And um, I hope it's the kind of thing where – obviously, it's going to do well. Like, let's just get that out of yeah. the way. It's if an HBO are gonna thing. Watch. So. It's an HBO thing. Yeah. It's last yeah. most people are going to watch it. I hope it does well enough that they – do a second season, but they don't do part two. They tell another story in this world. Mm-hmm. Like, sorry, mm-hmm. that this cool. is a world to tell shit in. 
Like, or like go have off to be of, the game. Yeah. like yeah. yeah, like okay, we told Joel and Ellie's story. We're gonna go with these characters, right? Now or, something. or just anything yeah. else, like or like this is how it went down over here and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it really depends on how later. much they cram into that first season, but I can't imagine they stretch that any farther than that first game. It's got to be the first game. It right. It's gotta get. Think, it's gotta be hard. Joel not enough story slits there, a doctor's it. throat at the end. Like at that's how. End, that's it how it is. Yeah, <laughs> gotta be. So, uh, but again, like I, I was, I'm more neutral on that. Where I'm like, I, it's fine. I I'll watch. I'll watch it. I'll I watch, just don't. Yeah, no, my girlfriend wants yeah. to watch it. So. Yeah, I'll watch it for sure. You know what really threw me off about it is that everything I read about the trailer, everybody was given beef that the girl didn't look like, I don't think she does now. And I'm like, I don't think she does either, but but I don't care. You do realize (laughs) who Ellie was modeled after, right? Ellie was modeled after an adult. Like, so I don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, I don't know. They don't have, the thing is, is they don't have to look the same. Exactly like them. Yeah. Right. That's not the the deal break. The only problem I've had with that kind of stuff in the past is like, the uncharted movie where they tom holland like i love tom holland but he's not nathan drake like he's not no he's not even close to being built like he is like that was just well, a weird miscast <laughs> mark Wahlberg's not also probably yeah. not sully right they well the problem with that is they aged them down too much they needed people they 10 years have, older yeah. for each well he does at the end but i know i know I've seen um, the picture. but they need to age <laughs> they needed to age both of those actors up 10 years yeah. but again if that's the kind of thing where they're going to want to get two three four movies out of it and they kind of add it seems like now. it seems like they're going to because that yeah. movie actually was pretty successful oh I, I i watch it it's fine didn't hate that's it. what i yeah it's just a mismatch of yeah, all, all of the other all of all well, the movies together we so have our weird. yeah we have our other big yeah internet breaking trailer seven seven years of development it's funny because when they said that i had to think back i'm like no yeah it was like 2015 when they announced i guess they were so. working on this. yeah uh with illumin it's illumination right that's the studio yeah the minions um, mm-hmm. the mario yeah. animated trailer um Woo-hoo. i think it looks fucking great so like i've always wanted an animated that, that's what i wanted as a kid and you know as a kid we all got the live action movie which is not good so no it's terrible i mean even as a kid like even as a kid i didn't like that movie no so, i didn't either. i didn't i, I like, think i only watched it more of like twice. Yeah, like it was like one of those you saw in theater and it was for me as a kid, it was confusing. Like, this isn't Mario. Like, this is some right. other thing. Um, Not even going to lie. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I'm sorry, guys. I am I don't, so like, sorry. The thing is, is, like now, now I don't. It's I just, don't, the, it's just a bad movie. It. Today it's just to a watch. bad yeah. movie. And like you kept yeah. watching that fun. But at the time, I mean, they had very little source material to go off of. And then they, they, did. And then oh, they yeah, made that. Totally. And you're like, well, I guess so. And then it just didn't seem like it was a kid's movie. It wasn't a kid's movie. <laughs> and, you know, and the, the second thing I'll say no. on this trailer is like, this is a Bowser trailer. It's not a Mario trailer. This isn't a good one. Yeah. It's not a good way to judge Chris Pratt. I mean, does I Chris Pratt think... sound like Chris Pratt in the trailer? Yes. But it's two lines of dialogue. So yeah, but even still judge. like, I, I, but yeah, I can tell exactly. from that and I can tell from who he is that that is what yeah. he's going to sound like the whole time. And I'll Whereas, say like, Every other person killed it in that trailer. Like, uh, yeah, like playing Keith, Toad. You get Michael uh, Key plays Toad. I could not have told you that. Sa- no, I couldn't have told you that when I heard his voice. <laughs> he sounded like fucking Toad. Right. Uh, Jack Black sounded incredible as he King Cooper. I like, will say you can hear a hint of Jack like Black himself in it. as Bowser, but not in a bad way. Like mm-hmm. I didn't. Not in a bad way. Right. Nah. He seems to be having the time of his fucking life. And I think, and I think from a full full <laughs> movie perspective, he'll probably be amazing. But like, I just worry that. Like I think it looks incredible. I think part of oh, it looks, it parts incredible. of it look a little off. Like Mario looks a little weird. He Just a little weird. His face. His face. Looks little, he looks a little weird. Uh, did you see yeah. the leaked? The leaked what Peach looks like? Yeah, he looks good. I, I she looks fine. She's fine. Um, and then Luigi you looks. Luigi, Luigi looks, looks great. great. He looks he really great. good. So, I wanted to hear him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I did. I wanted to hear him too. Because I but, just need uh, to hear Charlie Kelly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, or Charlie did. Chris Chris Pratt, like I'm just worried because I know he's just gonna sound like that the whole time, and it's just gonna be. Yeah. I don't want to say it's gonna, experience yeah, it'll bit. it'll be a little jarring just because I think mm-hmm. all of us in our voice Here, know what Charles, Mario Charles says, Barnett, what, but like what Mario could sounds you like. Get it's an hour and a half kids movie with his voice the whole time. Like I don't. Know well, I think I don't. Th- I, and I I get why people wanted it, but I think if you wanted like a full voice acted entire movie, it's yeah. probably not the right way. But I think you could have gotten a voice actor to do it 
and not yeah. <laughs> Chris Pratt just because it's him. Um, yeah, right. I also I also didn't like what was so remember at the end of like where he's like running they're running on top of the mushrooms and they're going somewhere. Yeah. What yeah. does he say? What's the last thing he says? Off to the mushroom kingdom we go or something. Yeah, because like, like why why like couldn't that, yeah. why couldn't he have said here we go? That's a thing he yeah. says. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, like there wasn't even know. a Mario like phrase in that whole thing. Like also are they, he is known he is known for very specific like twenty yeah. phrases, right? Like you couldn't give me <laughs> one of them. It's yeah. a little weird. Yeah. One of them. Well, especially when it fits. Like he could have said, here we go, as he jumps off the mushroom. And that would have been fine. Yeah. Boom. I would have felt I think I honestly I think I would have felt better about his voice. Yeah. Um I'm not well, I, like, I'm not part of the internet that's like <laughs> this is I'm gonna burn the theater down because he's doesn't sound Here's Italian or whatever. Those I people don't care. those people are still gonna go see it because it's a fucking animated Mario movie. I, I told you from the jump, like I don't have a choice. I have a seven year old and a four year yeah. old who Hold love on, Mario. I'm, We're 110%. going ten percent in. Hundred and ten percent. It's exactly the movie that I would have wanted as a kid. So that makes the way me excited. It. it makes me excited for future things. Like Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Could we get a Zelda movie? that Easily is now. is animated but looks more realistic you know what i mean yeah. like because this is colorful and all that kind of stuff like but could yeah. we get a cool zelda movie that would be awesome i imagine if this yeah. movie is successful it will be successful it, let's be fair it will be depending on very successful. how successful it is they start green lighting some other nintendo movie projects yeah it just gotta sell some toys that. that's all it's gotta do right yeah that's the, the best thing about yeah, the best movie. thing about releasing a Mario movie, especially now, is like there's so many games that kids can go play. Mm-hmm. Like, here's this Mario character. Oh, he has thirty fucking years of games you can yeah. go play. Go get a you Switch know? and get so, the like, online service, and you can exactly. play all of them. Um, so. I think I'm still I'm still into the movie. Yeah, I I'm very into it. I mean, well, here's the other thing: is we've got six months before this comes out. Mm-hmm. Now that yeah. obviously like this thing has come out and there's been a lot of people who are like his voice sucks, they can, have there's plenty trailer. of time to fix it if they want to change it. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna get another yeah. real trailer soon. But w- these were the people that also were complaining that Mario had no ass. Well, <laughs> in the trailer, or like who I'm who like, cares? really? It's a it's a video <laughs> game character. It, it's not Laura Croft, yeah. guys. Like, I think what that are you just goes to more do? towards like he's been around for so long. That all three of us can close our eyes and see what he looks like in our head. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. and then you see yeah. you finally see like just slightly the official, a little bit the official animated Nintendo approved version, and it's not quite right. It doesn't look like he looks it's, in the games they make. Where it's like King Koopa so, right. looks exactly. He looks like exactly he how I think. He's as big as he, looked exactly how he's he as big as he like, should be. Even the penguin dudes, the Koopas, all, everything the, else. The, looked the, the magician and Koopa, yeah, yeah. Luigi. Oh, Luigi so. looked correct. Even Luigi. Yeah, and then like the peach, I will say the peach, like the leaked image, she does yeah, not look, too. she does not look exactly the same either. Her face looks a little more like drawn out, if that makes sense. It's bigger. But, like, it's almost like good. bigger, but she looked, she, yeah, but yeah. she, she looked good. fine. Not yeah. in a way where I'm like that doesn't look like Peach. The, the Mario, it's like there's something about his nose and the mustache. His mustache is like a little bit weird. more ragged yeah. or something. Yeah, like, I it's don't hard know. to describe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't uh, know. Who who cares? At the end of the yeah. day, like we're all gonna everybody's gonna go see the movie. It's gonna make Avengers oh level money. Like I think it will. I really think it will. So <laughs> And it's meant to and it's meant to sell consoles. It's meant to sell because like, oh. they're gonna come out with like it's funny because there's already Mario toys you can go buy, but they're gonna come out with, come out with the Mario the Mario Brothers movie toys. <laughs> and then there'll be McDonald's mm-hmm. obviously clearly has Happy Meal stuff lined up yeah we know that <laughs> and that's gonna those are gonna be impossible yeah. to get for the first couple of weeks so yeah because you're gonna um, have kids that want to oh, but yeah. you're also gonna have people our age that are you know wanting them too so oh, like, I'll, it's, I'll, it's i'm gonna, gonna go there and be like five happy I meals them all. please like, i need them all um <laughs> but uh i'd say i'm like uh, it's got me like eight out of ten excited a couple yeah, of tweaks no, here and there yeah. and i'd be 10 out of 10 but yeah now just make this all no- the movie we want it was no way. It was in no way the disaster it could have been. Yes, it, it could have, like it could, it could have, been have been real, real bad. bad. You saw the last Mario movie they made, yeah. like <laughs> well, just like you it know how that stuff goes. Is like, 
stuff that stuff can get real Minion messed up real I'll, quick. I'll say this and this is what this is what saved me on the trailer the first shot of king koopa when he gets like off of the airship and they do like a pan up from his backside the first thing you see like his tail and the first thing i caught in my mind i'm like please don't do stu- something stupid like make him fart or something because right. that would turn me off in the movie. I'd be like, oh, this yeah. is not the humor I want. They that's didn't not, do that. That's not Mario humor, I don't think. Like, no, and that's is- that was my where I was like, man, they can make this look amazing. But if they start doing stupid shit with the humor for it, like that's not. I think the, I want. think the majority of the humor is going to come from like the yeah. fish out of water. His first time like in yeah. the Mushroom Kingdom type stuff. Exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. We'll say. I mean, we know nothing about the movie. Let's put that. Way. We know we, we, we saw a two minute uh, trailer. He got Bowser found an invincibility star, and that's about it. That's all we know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I. We'll, we'll move good. on. But I think it, I think it looks good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Very much Take two pulls out of an agreement with the uh, Outriders developer after two years of development on a new game. They just kind of packed it up and said we're out. That seems uh, a little weird. Um. To be that deep into development of something. Well, and, it's, uh, and they're just a publisher, so they're not making it. Um, exactly. And like you and I, we've played Outriders. We're going to play more. Like the game yeah. is not bad. It's fine. I think, I think a lot of the problem with that game was it came out at a weird time. For sure. The, it was a, you know, was it a live service thing at some point? Probably. For and, sure. and it got game passed. And, and and almost no marketing. I don't remember them talking about that game before yeah. it came out. A little bit before it came out, but all that marketing was played on Game Pass. Right. <laughs> so, so I yeah. just don't think that that first game got exposure. And especially since yeah. they were willing to continue to work on it and, and, you know, tear it down. And then they made that expansion thing, which by all accounts is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I guess, you know, take two. I guess they're they're busy. They got other stuff they got to focus they on. They got way other things to be worried about right now. So <laughs> I mean, yeah, take two's go. We'll see. They Somebody will pick stuff. it up. Somebody will pick it up. I mean, Square did Outriders. Yeah, very much so. Um, Square so. seems to be internalizing stuff now, but yeah, someone will I could do see it. that. Embracer Group could easily be like, "Do you want us to do it? We'll do it." <laughs> Tencent could just buy the now. whole fucking company. <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah. Saudi, get that Saudi money. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, this I thought was pretty cool. They did uh, updates for the two older Dark Pictures anthology games to bring them up to next gen standards. So Man of Medan and uh, Little Hope, just mm-hmm. surprise updates. And this is for both PS5 and uh, Series X. So there's no money. You're not spending any money for the update anywhere. It's literally just you have those systems. It updates. Good. So they have better. Uh, but the thing that's even cooler, and I I, free- I want to say it's a Little Hope, not uh, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure it's a little hope. They right. added like another chapter or something to it. So that's cool. I actually want to go back because yeah. like that game I originally played for whatever reason. I played Man and Medan and the other the other one uh, that came out last year on the Xbox. But I played Little Hope on PC. But I have a copy mm-hmm. of Little Hope on Xbox, so I might actually go run that again. At some point. Yeah, I'm, it's cool because I mean the whole plan with all of these was always it was supposed to be it's an anthology series, together. and they all connect together. So it yeah. makes sense. Well, I think the one that's coming out in November, them. which is I'm, I'm bummed that it's November and not in October, but the the Devil in Me or something, mm-hmm. uh, I think that's what it's called. That is supposed mm-hmm. to be the end of like the first of part, part of this anthology, yeah. right? Yeah, so. But it's It'll a cool. It's a cool the way same to, narrator uh, guy every time. Yeah, and that, and that's a that's a smart thing to do. To you can make the same game, but make them all be different. Oh, they're and, all wildly and, different. And, but but yeah. you know what I mean, though. But they're the same, the same game. kind of game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and then tie yeah. it together in this way. It's not like here's four Some of them wildly even use broken the same things. actors. Yeah, so. and which is fine. Like yeah. I don't know. I'm excited. To yeah, start you picked them. them up on that Walmart deal. So, which Little Hope is my yeah. favorite of the three. So that was a good one. Um, that's that's my favorite one. Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> let's talk about Just Skull like, and Bones on, being dude, delayed like, a fifth time, man. Who the fuck cares anymore? March like, of I'm, next year. <laughs> Just fuck off. Like that game. You know, yeah, my I'm favorite glad part it got is because I'm interested in well, it. Well, like, my favorite part is you saw why it got delayed, right? The gameplay is just not good enough. It's just oh no, like it's oh no they they peter back and forth on it because like when i watch videos of the game i'm looking at it from like a single player standpoint but apparently Mm -hmm. there's like a much more of a online component to the game and it sounds like that's the component of the game that they're not sure of what they said it's like boring and all the kind of shit it's like yeah 
Yeah. Like, I just, so you huh? delayed it, you know, four or five months. I think the other reason I delayed too is like, obviously, well, I mean, I'll just say now, God of War has gone gold. It will come out November uh, 8th or 9th sure. or whatever. You're not going to put that game out the day before. But they're, but, but the point isn't the point is they're wildly different games. Like, this game is, they're to wildly be different games. Online but... pirates and like, f- go fuck yourselves. Like, fuck this game. I'm tired of I mean, it. Everybody's tired. And the tired problem is, game. there's already a good, there already online is a good game. online pirate game. <laughs> <laughs> which keeps going and Has keeps five million active players and adding people and listens to people and fi- mm-hmm. like it like mm-hmm. sea of thieves was good when it wasn't good and now it's only better exactly so right exactly. what is this supposed to be it's supposed to look more realistic but if it's boring <laughs> who cares i just exactly. don't give a shit about this game anymore i like part of me wants it to come it's- out so it can fail and they can just be like, well, never mind. And it just. Yeah, oh. well, that's that's not going to be our next <laughs> big moneymaker franchise for Ubisoft. Yeah. Um, this I thought was cool. Uh, Scorn got moved up a week. So that is actually one of the games I plan on playing on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. It got moved up a week. So it's the 14th now. Sure. Um, I know you don't care about the game. I never, I never, under, I never understand. It's just so weird. <laughs> it's a body horror puzzle moved. game. Yeah, but I never understand games getting moved up a week. What's it's, the difference? Yeah, they were ready to go. I guess. I, I guess. It's just, okay, sure. This was a game that was delayed a year, so I don't know why they're like, "Oh, we can put out." Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't understand that either. So, um, well, so I, I would say this is probably the biggest news of the week, which we got an email about it. Mm-hmm. Which I'm gonna dig it up here, uh, in a second here. But so, <laughs> uh, the big news of the week, obviously, Google Google Stadia is shutting down. It's over. Oh no. It's, January, I think, 18th, it, the service will be shut off. I will talk about more of the details of it here in a minute, but let me read the email. We actually got a couple emails. This is the one I pulled, but thank, thank you to everybody who did email in. Um, Dallas from Dayton, Ohio. He says, hey, guys, love the podcast. I was curious what you all think of the Stadia news. I think it's insane they are giving out massive refunds, but if there's ever a company that could do such a thing, it's Google. Do you think this will impact the future of game streaming at all? um the the first thing i'll say is like it is i will admit like it is crazy they're refunding everything you bought a controller you bought the memberships yeah you bought the membership they were refunding it all again it's google they have infinite money like right (laughs) but still somehow they're gonna make money off of giving you money back It's, It's, it's like okay like you know but i look at it this way like technically speaking the dreamcast failed i didn't get a refund for that you know right like well, that's I mean, the way I'm looking at it. There was a it. difference. Like, one of those was made by Sega, and one of those was made yeah, by Google. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but even still, exists. like it's it, you never see in this industry. No. Oh, this thing massively failed. Remember the Ouya? They no. didn't refund people for oh, that. Oh fuck shit. no! They laughed as that no. as that thing burned. <laughs> the the Stadia uh, thing, man. Like I think you and you and I talked about it when it first came out, and we're like, "There's no way. Early. No way. We're not there. Like this is not what gaming is yet." Yeah. I think if Stadia launched like a year from now, it probably would have had a better shot. Maybe because a little at, bit. Like, maybe a look little at bit all longer, the cloud stuff yes. that Microsoft does now. It works. Right. right. Like, that's the thing yeah. I'll say. It works and it works but well. The, but the thing is, is like it works and it works well, but we're still not there yet. Like this requires constant, great internet connection. Yeah. At all times, exactly. wherever you exactly. are. Exactly. That is exactly. not a thing everyone has yet. Like mm-hmm. Google should be should have been more concerned with getting fiber out to more people than they making should, a cloud based game system. <laughs> if they came out tomorrow, was like fiber is yeah. available in your era. Okay, I'll, I'll take the next couple of days off of work when you're coming. When are you coming? Yeah, like <laughs> it's yes. beep boop beep yeah beep Bye. goodbye. Um, take but like away. you and I talked about when Stadia came out, we're like this this doesn't make any sense. Um it's a good it was a good idea in theory but then it morphed into well it's a membership and then you have to pay for games and you, now i don't think you should but now they've also proven like you're streaming like that exactly because now they've proven that you've never owned it because now yeah, no, in january they have it's to, gone yeah exactly they have to give that, that the, back now the so. absolute worst part about this is just is how they did it they didn't tell anybody yeah all these developers you saw all these tweets where like people, developers, are like I had a game coming out next month. Yeah, what the hell? they're pissed. Yeah, they're really pissed. Nobody told me I'm not getting refunded. Like, all like, where's where's my yeah. money coming from? So all of these people are just like, 
they're screwed. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I, I laugh because I, I read like one today. of those articles it's where nuts. all the developers are just pissed because it they, they didn't tell anybody. Google just decided we're shutting it down. Which yeah. if you go to that, what yeah. is it? Google's killed this dot com or whatever that website famous website is. It's like <laughs> Stadia has already been added to it with its little rest in peace date. So it's just it's just crazy because you had all these people working there who really wanted to fulfill the promises of what it was supposed to be in the beginning. And then now it's, well, every time they tried to take some of that away, we tried to fight for that kind of stuff. And then higher ups would turn them down. You know what else that sounds like? Sounds like working for GameStop. Kind of. <laughs> Which we talk a lot about, we talk here, a lot so. about here, but it's just like <laughs> the higher ups make the decisions and everybody below you, you're fucked. Hey, exactly. uh, imagine, imagine yeah. like they, apparently if something like they got some kind of notice that morning, like, hey, there's a meeting in an hour. And then people who work there found <laughs> out on fucking Twitter. Yeah. Then it's over. Yeah. So like I don't to, to go to the question in the email, like, do I think it'll impact the future of game streaming at all? A little bit because it's just going to push everything bit. back. It's just going to keep it's just going to push it back. It proves we're not ready. Yeah. I mean, Microsoft is working on it a lot and it works, but it's still not there. It's not something no, I consider it to be. Yeah, yeah that's how I'm going to get it. Much so. Like, that's just. Oh, not God, no. Is. There's been like there's been nights where I'm like, oh, you know what? I have my little backbone thing here. I'll load up this game that's on Game Pass and play it through the cloud. And I, I'm not playing like Yakuza or something. Exactly. It, it'll be like a no, very yeah. basic game that I know can handle it. Mm-hmm. Now, Yakuza, I did try. Like, it worked, but was it a great experience? No. It's I the was watching. you want to have? No. <laughs> I was watching somebody play just like Perfect Dark Zero on cloud okay. gaming. Remember, Perfect, okay. <clears throat> Perfect Dark Zero came out when? 2005. 2005. It's probably not the best game to play. Uh, but again, but that, game, that is a 17-year-old game running on yeah. a base 360, and cloud yeah. gaming couldn't handle that properly. Yeah. We're not right. there. Uh, look at no. look at the switch. The switch tries to force all this like cloud resident, oh, resident cloud evil cloud play, like, Those are the worst versions of the because you don't own those. Right. And you don't own them. Yeah. So I think that's a big problem with cloud gaming. I think if I think if Stadia had just been a subscription model, pay fifty bucks, yeah. you can play this stuff cloud streaming and they rotate it, fine. Yeah. But it, to, I think it probably would have lasted a little longer. But to pay to be able to to buy a game that you don't own is insane. It's it's, it's absurd. And I yeah. think that's the real lesson <laughs> I was well, learned here. It's like, <laughs> I remember when it first came out, they went hard on advertisements. Remember they had like, oh, yeah. um, they had famous people doing Stadia and things like trying to shove all this stuff down your throat and check it out. Wasn't Stadia, the big, Stadia, the big game they marketed it with was uh, Odyssey or not Odyssey. Um, the one before origins, right? Yeah, there was that. There was a lot was of stuff. Book is, there was a lot of stuff that they were like, check it out. This is on Stadia Witcher. This is on Stadia, all this stuff. But yeah. um, I just, and you know, and then for the past year, I felt like I really hadn't heard about it. And then now no, it's gone. Nobody's talking about it. I mean, kudos to them for giving not people at all. back refunds for everything. I could have easily seen them being like, well, well, you can have well, you can have your subscription costs back. Yeah. But for them to refund everything, well, is we'll, we'll, we'll refund your control. Pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. good on them for that. It's just we're still not there. It's going to be a while before we're there. And I don't know. That's going to uh, coincide with whatever the yeah. next gen systems are, because I guarantee sure. next gen systems are going to that's going to be a focus. I think it'll be yeah. a higher focus, but mm-hmm. I mean, now that Stadia has failed, I wonder if that leads so you know, cool Microsoft and Sony to be like, maybe we shouldn't focus on that. You yeah, know? but I cool. still think, regardless of that, I will be very surprised if we get to the next generation and either system has a disk drive. Yeah, for real. I think that's done. Yep. So, which is sad. <laughs> it is. I think that's the reality. But again, um, that's a decade away. Yeah. I put this in here right after it because I thought it was interesting and I have a little more to add to it because some stuff came up today. But uh, and I the thing is, I don't know when this if this was a while ago. I don't think that this obviously wasn't recent or, you know, why they passed on it. But apparently Google uh, reportedly passed on a Stadia exclusive follow up to Death Stranding. Um, we know now that apparently that that thing that Kojima is teasing right now with Ellie Fanning is something related to Death Stranding. Mm-hmm. We don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I mean, I'm excited. I love Death Stranding, so I'm excited. Yeah, it's just Google Stadia. What it is. Stadia would have been a real weird place to put that. It would have um, been because a Very lot of people so. would have ended up not playing it. But Kojima's exactly. weird, and he does whatever the fuck he wants, and it works. He does. But um, Which is, I think it's pretty clear that whoever passed on it knew that they're maybe we shouldn't i think because even uh, at the time yeah i think even at the time let's say it was six months ago i'm sure those execs at the time were like yeah we might be wrapping things up plans for this shutdown have probably been in place for pretty much sure Mm -hmm. so yeah they're probably like nah let's not let's just not waste our time um this is cool uh Probably right now, as it stands, probably my game of the year. Vampire Survivors uh, is getting its full release uh, October 20th. Oh, boy. Um, they did briefly mention they are working on console versions of it. So okay. that is the next focus after this full release comes out, because they apparently are shifting the game to a different engine. Oh, and they're okay. in the process of doing that right now. Oh, yeah. But that will update the version that's already out. So you're not going to have to pay for a new version that has this new engine, which oh. is cool. Um, what I'm hoping for because the game is on game pass it's a game preview game but when it updates on the 20th it, they'll add achievements and stuff i'm hoping they make that a cloud game so i can play it better than i can that game probably that game probably <laughs> will be right they need to be i just want it on accounts i just yeah. want it on switch that's yeah. all i want i see all these people yeah. playing it on steam deck i've legitimately thought about buying a steam deck because of that and then I, 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 I talk myself off the ledge on that because I'm like, are you really going to buy a Steam Deck for a three dollar <laughs> game? But if you look at it, the last two months in hey a man. row, that has been the most played game on Steam Deck. Hey man, is you can just buy a Steam Deck now. You saw that. Right? I know. Yeah. You Which can I'll just mention buy that one. here because that, that was news today, I think, yeah, or yesterday. That yeah. and the dock is out and it works. I am. I'm, I just I, feel like me, man, minute, I don't have a gaming PC that's current. But and you it, have a lot of Steam games. And it really feels like Steam Deck would be the answer to a lot of those problems. And I'm I think upset. it would. I know. Just do it, man. Pull but the if trigger, I do it, bro. I want the dock because I want to play it on my TV. If I do it, I want the middle tier one because I want the better hard drive. Can I stream my Steam Deck to my Steam mm. link and use my Steam I controller? Oh, I don't. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm sure you could in a stream. box is the day I got I'm sure you can probably stream into this the, to that uh, to the link, but I don't think that. Do you want to use that controller? So, it was, that. no, I wouldn't. I would just use an Xbox controller because I'm not a bad man. <laughs> Although the, so, the DualShock like, Five, the DualShock Five works with PCs and everything just fine, right? Yeah, you can no, use I a just, DualShock. I just you can do that. Way. You can do a DualShock Four if you really wanted to, which is also fine. Um, but like that, yeah. my thing too is like I have so many like classic JRPGs, yeah. just classic games in general and stuff that I could just play on the Steam Deck. I have a lot of good. It doesn't have to be a Steam, current game. Yeah, I have a lot of good Steam older games. I would like to be able to play. And they easier. they updated. So they went back and updated the PC Steam version of Chrono Trigger to be like those Final Fantasy ports with like the speed up, mm-hmm. slow down, mm-hmm. and all that. But that version mm-hmm. doesn't okay. exist anywhere else. It's amazing to me they haven't put that on a console. Well, plus, like, you know, PC versions of stuff can be uh, <coughs> modified to do other things. So. Exactly. Well, hey, man. Play some like, Final Fantasy no, VII. Mm-hmm. I'm in the same boat as you were. Like, I especially with that news, I'm like, oh, maybe maybe tax return time next year. Yeah, I'm thinking time. I'm thinking maybe that's a good time. It's, where like, it's just like it's it's a really cool fucking device. And that way, and one the thing like, about it, too, is that way I don't have to yeah. buy a PC, buy a fucking graphics card. Oh, for you. Yeah, all of this exactly. shit just to play old Steam games. That's all no, I really want to play. I hear you on that. Yeah, I hear you on that. So I don't know. That's what I've been thinking. I was yeah. like, oh, man, tax return time. Yeah, yeah, time. yeah. I might do it. Especially too. since especially since there's no wait now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, the other big this is the other one of the other big stories going around this week. I, there's mm-hmm. been a lot of shit thrown I at it for, this shit. for a justified reason. And this is Sony apparently is considering a remake of Horizon Zero Dawn, which is just preposterous what, what the me. fuck are we doing like i don't I, like i love making that love coin that man game. what do you think i love that game i love that game too that i game like that does more than not the sequel, need it does a remaster it has a 60 frames patch on the ps5 you don't need it came it out at the crisper. end of the ps4 <laughs> what it's are we doing before, like it was at, like at its peak performance, pushing the boundaries of that system when it came out. Pushing a pro. Yeah, exactly. And you so want to remake just, it and sell it to me again for probably for $70. 70 <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Last of Us. So, the Last right. of Us is bad enough, but maybe you could argue that that's a PS3 game. 
getting remade. There's a little bit of an argument there. But this but is there's a, no argument. PS4, no. <laughs> arguably a PS4 Pro game, because remember, it didn't run great on regular PS4. It did not. It did not. Mm-hmm. To remake, no way. You're out of your mind. I could put in my copy of it in my PlayStation right now and play it, play it and not fun. have and not have a single problem with it. <laughs> exactly. Like, so and what like, are we doing? It's, it's also on PC, right? So, like, there's if that. If you really want to do option. this, you really want to do this. Why don't you just make me more content for the new one? Exactly. It's weird that we haven't heard anything about that yet. I'd rather have that. I don't yeah, want. To, I don't want the other bizarre. one. That's also a game. Well, that's also a game. By the way, if you have plus. You have gotten for free. You have that mm-hmm. through the PS4. Like you have the PS4. Last of Us PS4. is one of those as well. Yes. <laughs> like yeah. What? Are they going to tell me next? They're going to say Ghost of Tsushima. We're remaking yeah. that too. <laughs> like I, God of War. No, they're already remaking the God of War one that comes out in November. That's already getting yeah. remastered for next year. Oh, I just. Lord. We oh have a God. really interesting email when we get to emails yeah. about Sony that I want to read, but okay. like mm-hmm. it's just it's fucking ridiculous. I just don't. Um, is it, I'll throw this up there. Also, is questionable Sony pull shit? PSVR two. Sony wants is reportedly making two million units for launch. Two million units I for get who? The fuck out of here, dude. No, the thing is, is like we all know <laughs> we know that you know that there's more than two million PS fives out there. Obviously, there is, but like but I just two million. It's not a like, device everyone's going to buy. But two million for North America, two million for we don't Japan, know the price. Two million total. Yeah, how much is it? Is it yeah. the cost of a PS5? Because if it is, then I'm not one of the people that wants it. Yeah, I, like, I would I imagine just, there's a lot of people that aren't going to pay that much money for a VR headset. So. It'll sell out. Like I think, I it think will. two million is a low enough number. But um, I just, I laughed when I saw that because I'm just like for a system that people still can't readily get, and we don't know what the price of it is. You yet. can't buy it in other territories. It's going up in price. <laughs> so it's going to be higher price right. when it comes so to don't, yeah, but exactly. don't worry we're going to make two million yeah. of this thing that's probably going to cost around 500 exactly. to add on to it like man so can i sit in a room with my psvr2 and not my ps5 because i still don't have <laughs> right, one yeah, maybe, well, maybe yeah, there you go <laughs> if this thing is and also if this thing is 500 dollars, i'll just buy the steam deck that just further yeah. makes me want to buy a steam deck <laughs> yeah exactly that's a, that's a I, yeah. i'm in the same boat like well, like there may yeah. be one or two VR games that go, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Maybe I would like to play that, or I could just go buy this Steam Deck and play the all VR these Steam games. Like, the VR stuff I've only ever really been like super into has been like the puzzle stuff. Yeah, like I like keep that. talking, yeah. nobody explodes. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a couple I played for the one I had where like um, it's called Static Institute of Retention. Like it was basically like you sat in a room and solved puzzles by looking around and stuff. Like those were fun, but I'm not interested in the climb a mountain in Horizon game or <laughs> god no or like iron man <laughs> vr like i'm not interested in that kind of stuff i'm not interested in motion sickness type stuff yeah, i exactly. want to play like job yeah. simulator where like you're in a room and you can look around and pick stuff up and fuck around with it like that's more fun it's that's yeah. what vr is the, the whole point of vr is like to fuck around with stuff and like but for 500 just, it's like, that hey that thing we, i mean it, what's the highest no way pay? what's the highest you, you, you would pay 550 Oh, what's the highest it will be? Five fifty. What would I like? What would I come in I at could, where I'm like that seems acceptable price? Probably three fifty to four hundred. I would say four hundred is probably the top of where I would be like, okay, I wouldn't I get go it. any higher than that. Yeah, like okay, I yeah. get it. And but I can easily yeah. see them going five. Probably only if there was question. there was like, oh, here's a free twenty dollar game or something. Like, here's you know a, I mean? here's something. a new Astro Bot. Yeah, yeah, I something. Yeah. But four it'll is, have something with it. Four is, but aren't we still corded with the it's PSVR only, it's just team? The one game the problem? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And one the controllers, to be fair, the controllers know, are not uh, move controllers <laughs> no. this time. Which well, is we good. finally ditched those after a couple of generations. <laughs> those things suck. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Exactly. Stupid. Ass. Remember how many used fucking move controllers we had at one point? Uh, it's 40, we had more than Wii modes. Yeah, we had more of those than Wii modes, man. Awful. Like, but never saw. Um, and we have more we have a lot more dumb sony news to talk about for sure as well but we'll switch it up here uh halo <laughs> apparently halo there and this is another rumor but i actually think there's some truth to it because there's a lot of shit going on internally at 343 uh, i mean we they lost bonnie ross they uh promoted the guy that basically they promoted the guy that fixed the master chief that, collection yeah. to her role which is smart that dude mm-hmm. fixed a very broken game and it got it into a place where people celebrate that as a good collection today. 
So yeah, maybe that guy can ten fix years later. What <laughs> like, I just hope he can fix it in less than ten years. But uh, <laughs> and one of the biggest problems with Halo Infinite is, you know, when they announced it, they announced it was going to be on a new engine. We obviously learned much later. It's not really a new engine. They kind of lied about that. It's just yeah. a patched, modified version of the original. It's their own uh, version, the rumor yeah. now is that they're talking about moving to Unreal. Um, I The way I look at this rumor is I don't think they're moving Infinite to Unreal. No. I think that the game that Cernit Infinity is working on is probably working on that with Unreal. Sure that will have its like battle not, royale they're not gonna, they're not gonna like completely flip an existing no. thing that doesn't work to <laughs> to a, a new, new engine. engine in the middle yeah. of it this they're not gonna a, this do isn't that. 13 you know at, 13. at this point it's it's arguably smarter for them to cut their losses and let infinite just kind of ride out right. and then make something i else. honestly i honestly think if we either it's going to be a game awards announcement this year or something early next year where they're going to say here's the future of halo and it's going to be your battle royale thing maybe classic halo is just gone yeah and all that's left i think so is halo wars 3 and and <laughs> halo, halo I, didn't, battle royale. I didn't mind halo wars but, Halo wars is fine yeah they're fine they're fun games all units <laughs> all units <laughs> all of them um we got more bullshit with and this kind of ties into Sony, which we'll talk about later with that email. But we got more of the Microsoft Activision Sony, you know, Sony's mad about now they approved it in Brazil. I mean, I don't know how much stock that has in the overall approval of that, because in in our country, the FTC has to approve it. They yeah, but it, all it does is all it does it is will be approved. Approved. Yeah, it just happens. I would be shocked. At this um, point, it would, but, be, it would take a lot for this to not happen. What about the rumor that the uh, CEO Jack Ryan flew to Brussels to try and stop this? I don't like. I this hope, dude seems. Like, I hope for his well, sake that that's not true because this makes him. Seem I do too. He like seems a like a crazy fucking person. Yeah. So, yeah. He's, he makes it well, literally like I've talked about it before, but like he's the kid on the playground where he's upset you took his ball. It's yeah. my ball. I, Give me back my ball. <laughs> you said I can have my ball. Like, <laughs> i'm gonna put a pin on my thoughts because i'm gonna share them when we get to that yeah. email yeah, but that's like fine. i just that dude is yeah. going nuts uh a part of this too is uh they and these i'm, I'm gonna combine these two together because they're both kind of the same thing sony kind of came out they talked about playstation's future they're gonna do more live service they've been kicking the live service yeah. thing for a while fine. i want to say they have like nine or ten active mm. live service games in development well live service uh, is the future it's it is, that the, is future the future of stuff it is yeah. the future yeah uh, they're going to do more PC ports, but it's important to note that they are never going to have any day one PS5 right. and PC port. Why it's always going to be like six months to a year after. It makes sense. Um, more new franchises, although when are we going to hear about those? I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Is that just some dudes throwing darts in a dart board in a well, room right now? Hey, that I, hate good. It. Like, I hate it when I, any company says that like we've got like eight, nine, ten franchises in the works. Like, OK, so of those, maybe three of them. You mean what Microsoft's get, been saying the last They, they five, say that. They weeks. say it every year. We have more they original do. titles than ever before, and it's always a lie. But like then, none of them ever come out. But like, uh, yeah, so maybe like three of those are real, and then it's like maybe one of those catches on. Okay. Exactly. I guess. Exactly. And then I'll add to it because it's kind of in the same vein. Sony is going to continue to make PS4 versions of games for the next year. We kind of sure. already guessed that. It makes sense. That's where the install base is. They've so. always held on for long. Like, you know, <laughs> they PS, have PS1, I mean, PS2. Fuck, a you could buy FIFA. I think you could buy FIFA up to what? 2010, 2011 for PS2. Oh, I want to say it was, it was really late. That. I want to say it was longer than that. It was. I'm going really to look it up real quick. You're going to look it up. I want to say it was like, longer. A rid- it was a ridiculous amount. FIFA 14. Oh, my God. That's yeah. two generations. Yes. Wow. It was because I remember it's on PS2. <laughs> ps3 and ps4 i remember now that's fucked up <laughs> <laughs> but i can see it i can see it yeah Maybe for only sure. for sports titles but that game came out like fifa 14 came out september 24th 2013 for the ps2 <laughs> i think it was the last game to be fair I was gonna say, that's that probably the last ps2 game yeah so um i will switch gears here because i just think this is personally hilarious but uh overwatch 2 has launched it's been a disaster yeah. all week between DDO, they had their DDoS attacks, uh, and then this absurd phone 
thing. Oh, well, that's already got different. Different. I laugh because that's already so they're, uh, they're turning that off. Yeah. Yeah. Like basically they wanted you to put in a phone number. It's a security. It's a security <clears> measure <throat> because they don't want people hacking accounts. Like I understand yeah. why they implemented it. The problem is it, if you're a person that has a prepay phone or didn't work. a VOIP phone, it work. does not work. Yeah. Like so you're basically telling right. those people you can't play Overwatch 2. They those caught out a lot got of people. Really fucking yeah. upset. Yeah, it was a big disaster. Yeah. So um it's I just get the it. whole thing's been a mess. I get it from their end, but yeah, it was never gonna um that was never gonna work. Also for people that and yeah. I mean most people that are playing Overwatch 2 have probably played Overwatch 1, but for yeah. people that did not, it is a ridiculous grind to unlock those original characters. Well, that's the because point, if you though. played one, yeah. they're unlocked for two. But if right. you did not, well, that's the point, though, isn't it? Like that's what yeah. they want you to do. Oh, by the way, just a little bit of, to finish that FIFA trivia. It wasn't FIFA; yeah. it wasn't the last one, but it was, was some, the last game. But it was something just similar. Dance. No, something similar. What was it? Madden. Piss fourteen. Oh, Pro Evolution <laughs> Soccer. I was okay. just about to say. <laughs> okay, I'm familiar with that series. Last PS2 game <laughs> ever made. Um. Another one, and I, I don't think this is a huge deal, but I'm sure some people will get ruffled by it. But uh, it's been like for a while. I have a friend that's really into Bayonetta. So oh we've been going God. back and forth. Yeah. Like, have they done this? Have they not done this? Is this a switcheroo? Is it part of the story? Uh, they did finally confirm. And I'll give them credit. They came out ahead of it before the game, before the game, you know, is launching here. Right. Before, uh, before it became a problem after it came. Yeah, out. I'll give them credit. Yeah. But uh, Bayonetta's <laughs> voice actress has been has been changed. The original actress, I, f- I forget her name. She's not the voice actress in three because she was busy doing something else. So they replaced her with the best possible solution, which but is Jennifer a, Hale. One of the like, top five yeah, voice actors. Exactly. Like I read that. I went, so who fucking cares? It's Femship as is, is, is Bayonetta. Yeah. That's the perfect solution to that problem. She's also Samus. Yeah, yeah, like I have no problem with that. I'm not going to play Bayonetta 3 right away because I haven't even played two. But I looked at that. I saw that situation. I was like, that's fine. Who cares? Okay. So yeah. um, you can speak more to this because you are actually in it. I am yeah, not. Oh, yeah. PlayStation's uh, <laughs> reward program has launched. Uh, it's fucking terrible. So let's start with you it. Go well, ahead I read the thing it. that said it launched and you can jump in when when you get to that part. But like sure. I was like, read the thing that said it was launched. I'm like, all right, let's do it. I was at work. And I just pulled up the website of my computer and it's like, OK, join. So I click on the button. Nothing happens. Click on the button. Nothing happens. Clicked on it like 10 times. <laughs> nothing happens. Like, all right, close yeah. the browser, reopen, blah, blah, blah. It probably took about 15 minutes before finally clicking on the button, pulled up a sidebar thing. So it's like, join rewards. Okay, cool. Let's just get it started because I know I'm going to be in the program. It's To be fair, it's it's easier than in like in the past for other things because it just works in the app on the phone. So I, okay. I don't even, you don't even have to think about it. Like It was basically just like log in with your information, and now it's all tied together. But man, earning points sucks. Like you cannot – Yeah. <laughs> i don't it's, the, it's the like ratio track, right? for this stuff is super <laughs> off. they yeah. have this thing where it's like earn earn points by doing certain things or earn you know fake digital items which nobody gives a shit about <laughs> for doing certain things yeah. so how it works is there's like campaigns and right now i think there's five of them running and okay. it's weird because most of them they will just like auto register you for because you're a member like oh one of them the, the first one was play a game just play a game on your PS4 or 5. I guess it's sure. like, oh, okay, sure. Did that. So I get a virtual <laughs> PS3 console. <laughs> cool. Play on my PS4 and buy it. Awesome. An NFT. And then the other one was um, like, get a trophy and something. Oh, okay. I got a trophy. Cool. So I got a virtual tech demo Tyrannosaurus Rex. Great. Um, there's another one where it's like, uh, play a fighting game. So Street Fighter V, Ultimate, MVC3, MK11, or Tekken 7. And I'll get a little yeah. sneak trophy for that. That one you had to register for. Again, super weird, but okay. So I did that. I haven't done it. I haven't done that yet to get my little toy. Sure, sure. And then there's uh, another one, mm-hmm. which is a little more bizarre. And I guess I kind of like this one better, where it's okay. they give you a bunch of songs. And it's like, there's the objective okay. is like, launch a game matching this song. And it turns right. out, like, I looked it up, and it's like... Um, until dawn and death stranding and all this kind of stuff and it'll check them off on this box and then if okay. you get a higher level collectible if you finish this Ooh. so i guess it's good for like loyalists who have sony games 
Um, I guess, yeah. I could do it just because I could download yeah. all this shit to launch it, but then I've got to download all this stuff to do it. So I'm probably not going to do yeah. that one. But here's the bullshit. So <laughs> the only one where you can actually earn points is to buy one of these specific games digitally through the store. Okay. After you've already signed up for stars. Okay. If you have bought them digitally through the store before signing up for stars, sorry, doesn't count. And let me, I'll read you the list just to give you an idea of how fucking weird this list is. What? That's, NBA, yeah. NBA 2K23, $70 game. Saints <laughs> Row 5, $70 game, right? No. TMNT Collection. Okay, $40 game. The Last of Us Part 1. Famously, a $70, $70 game. $70 game. Madden 23, <laughs> mm. full price game. Oh that could God. be 60 I think it's 70 And the last one's weird because it's inscription. So obviously, if you want to do this the cheapest way possible, cart- yeah. by inscription. But you only get 50 points for doing that. And remember, and remember, if you own any of these games already, it doesn't count. <laughs> um so let's go That's to let's dumb. go to the store and see what i could get with my rewards right now because remember i have zero points yeah um you may as well rewards yeah. let's see let's see what we could get i get some more digital collectibles those are 200 a piece or you can get it's or you can get of actual fucking retail games you can get actual get digital, digital games you can get four okay. games uh you what can get cult, you get cult of the lamb sixty two hundred and fifty okay. points Oh my god. It takes two ten thousand points. Wow. <clears throat> or I can get Man. uh the quarry for seventeen thousand five hundred <laughs> points. Oh the ratio god. on this is far off. You can get twenty dollars, yeah, you can get twenty dollars in PlayStation credit for five thousand points. For five thousand. Still wow. way off. Yeah. None, none of the math on this makes any sense. I don't think they really intend on giving you enough points to buy these things like i think now i do think that like buying a game gives you x percentage back in points sure <clears throat> but it still can't be anywhere near enough like yeah i've seen people out there doing the math where it's like you'd have to spend like five grand to get a game or like something like it's that not... it's just unbelievable no i don't it's it's i mean obviously obviously it was tested overseas and it's been out here for like four days so yeah this can be fixed no problem but again i'm only level one if i want good customer service i gotta get to level four. Oh my god it's just not that makes any sense Jesus. but tell, tell what happened with you trying to even sign up for it I'm, I'm on a wait list i might not even get into it till next year how the hell like, are you on a wait list for a free loyalty program it's very bizarre <laughs> What I'll say this, like, on the flip about? side of it, like, Microsoft's rewards program is great. Really good. Like, I it, like the point that yeah. they have adjusted the point value over the years. Like, it's you don't obviously get as many points as you used to. But, like, sure. I regularly throughout the year get five, ten dollar, you know, coupons or whatever you want to call those off of. Oh, that. yeah. So, like, just from digital purchases, like, it doesn't matter. So playing Game Pass games, doing different quests, like, they've built all that stuff in in a really good way where I look at this Sony finish, like, this seems like a just utter shit show. (laughs) Like, were these people thinking about or looking at it at all when they when they created it or they just, you know, doing their own thing. So I don't know. But I I mean, will I get into it this year? Maybe. Maybe I will. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, the, the... the ratio it's, a is program. <laughs> it's also free and yeah. obviously you're not going to earn anything out of it other than free tokens part of me thinks that the reason there's a limit of people and the way that you can easily earn these stupid little collectible things is that mm. they were supposed to be nfts i can see that because remember they did that oh, thing where okay. like which hey okay, you guys want nft right what kind of nfts you want everybody's like we don't fucking want nfts and all of yeah. a sudden, <laughs> now I get all these digital collectibles, but not everybody can get them. And there's a wait list to get them. <laughs> I can see it. It's kind of weird. I like maybe maybe it. there was some kind of thing where I could have traded it for points on there to other people. Know. You know what I mean? Like there's there's yeah. something that could have happened. And by all accounts, I mean, they could flip that switch right back the other way. You just be like, hey, they're NFTs they now. But uh, yeah. it's just insane. It's a right now a bad it's launch awful. for a it's rewards awful. program. It'll be the, it's the kind of so. thing where like I'm I'm automatically signed up for it, and it's just gonna kind of happen for me now. But I'm not gonna yeah. make it a point to yeah earn. No, this. I wouldn't. 
uh why don't why don't you tell me about the more babylon's fall bullshit this is just more ridiculous. in with that that you i know, am i so. don't understand why they keep talking about it <laughs> yeah. um like babylon's falls over babe. game's over Who cares yeah it's it's dead we all knew it was dead when it came out it does not a big deal and now the guy comes out and was like hey you know what just uh just so you guys know we're pretty sorry we're real sorry about it and uh <laughs> don't worry though we're gonna we're gonna try to keep making live service games huh <laughs> maybe don't because maybe don't you tried you did it's not even like you did it wasn't a great game like outriders not, it's, this is outriders didn't do well this yeah, game that's there's a difference this game hard you can make a great game, game and it doesn't do well right this game but it's still a great game. yeah it failed yeah maybe don't and maybe you're platinum why don't you just go back to like the stuff you know go go make me another wonderful one-on-one game how about that just make or me something that. yeah like there you go. Stop uh, talking about Pebble's fault, please. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to. Uh, final news story of the week. I just threw this in there because I thought it was kind of impressive. Uh, no Man's Sky, game that continues to evolve. One of the best examples of a broken stories. game. Yeah, exactly. Ever. They released Fantastic. a new update today for that game that massively overhauls the UI, the inventory system, uh, some of the weapons. I just want to throw it out there because like, you know again, that means, it's, it's right? one of the best success. You want to return it? No, I go back. I go back and start again. <laughs> did we? Because like, did we play where you were playing on PlayStation and I was on yeah. Xbox? Like that's a cross. But yeah, okay. We had we got we did, we did we got quite a bit done the last time. Yeah, we actually we played, played but like, you me. But if if if, if they rehauled it, you know, fix everything, I'll start over. Don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Mean. I will tell you the last time I tried to load up the game, so many things have changed about it. It's probably time to start over. Yeah, exactly. So. There's like new vendors yeah, that give you like weird bounties and stuff. Yeah. Where I'm like, what has happened in the six months I played this game? Yeah. Like, so that's the only downfall. Yeah. All right. Well, now we're going to shift gears. We're going to get into our, we're going to get into the thick of our emails. We only shared one because that was tied to a story. There's another one though. I talked about, I think it's the last email we have yeah. here, but let's go ahead and kick it off. We got some more GameStop emails. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Grant from St. Louis, Missouri. Hi, all. I have to say the story that was shared last week regarding the employee that died while working is certainly something that I hope more people take to heart to get out of GameStop. I myself was a GameStop store leader that got out in 2018 and now work in the IT field. The grass is greener on the other side. So apparently you were making headway to some wow. people, you know, and then like it's just. Yeah, yeah I think I think that's a story and two stories, realistically, that it is a lot of GameStop people need to hear. You know, if that doesn't change your mind, fine. There are people yeah. that, you know, what, like we, we talk about it a lot. Like there are people that that do enjoy working there. And I can understand that. I really can. But, um, you know, and that's your choice. And again, we still we still care about you the employee yeah <laughs> that, those are just stories you need to hear because you need to realize what it is like at the extreme and exactly. like for two people to have essentially the same experience and have it rolled it's, out the same way yeah it's just That's it's just company bananas, policy dude. at that point like that, yeah. that means somebody has a, a sheet in a handbook somewhere that wrote like what if somebody dies this is what you do exactly um, but i mean you know i'm kudos to grant for getting out we're glad you're out IT field yeah, yeah. is a very easy field for people it who work at GameStop scary. to go into. Like, you guys don't do IT, but you're adjacent to it. Yes. I don't really do it, <laughs> but I'm adjacent to it. Like, it's the same uh -huh. kind of skill set. Um, yeah. Because you probably have some knowledge of electronics and all that kind of stuff. And that's something that you can get into pretty easy. But exactly, I'm, I'm happy Grant's out. And yes, please, if you did not listen to the we'll last to episode... It. And you don't want to listen to the whole thing for whatever reason. Just go to the end of the last one. Like, yeah, like it was the minutes. last email. It was the last yeah. part of the last one. Yeah. Listen to those stories. All right. Our next email comes from Casey from Florida. There's a reason why it's just from Florida. Mm -hmm. And I kind of figured we'd get maybe something about this because we had the the hurricane. I think the hurricane got downplayed a little yeah. bit. So it was dangerous. It was bad. Obviously. Yeah, it was bad. It was so bad. People died. Um, hey guys, I wanted to write in regards to the fact that I am a former employee as of yesterday, the time of the email was sent, in the state of Florida <laughs> where my safety is not a concern to the higher ups at this shit company. When the mandatory sorry you'll be working order came through, that was the last straw for me to quit on the spot. 
I've never felt so free, but now I'm currently in the process of evacuating with my family. I wanted to give a quick shout out to you all as this podcast has become a great source of comfort to me in the past few months. You guys really stick up for us frontline employees and there really there is really nothing else out there in the podcast world like this. Thank you for that. Wish me luck. Well, hopefully you got and, out. Yeah, I would encourage you to at least write us back and tell you. Let tell us know us you're okay. You got out. Please, yeah, yes. for sure. Um, Please, very um, much. Kudos so. to you for. I am, you know, yeah, happy you made the correct choice because <laughs> you did. that is GameStop's choice is to have you work during a hurricane because you had we, tornadoes. <laughs> because as we all know, during a hurricane, I need to pick up a copy of Splatoon Three physical. And GameStop is the only place. Oh it yeah, can man, be done. totally. Um, it's just it's insane. Like they 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 do it all the time. And did we talk was about always extreme cold weather? Extreme uh, cold. Um, there was a really bad like tornado storm one day. It was a tornado one day, but I don't. I think it touched down like not in our town. Didn't, didn't, but that town wasn't close to further yeah. out. Yeah, um, so it was okay. But it's still like the 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 cold weather was the one that always got me. It's like school is closed. Everything. Business, other businesses are closed Our, because time, it is negative fifty. At the time, Party City and Big Lots were like the two anchor stores. Yeah, they were like the two. They were thing, and then we went down. You went down a little bit, and you were mm-hmm. to us. They both closed, yeah. and we we had to call. We call our boss over and over again. It's like no one is here. Like they are there. Yeah. Big Lots is closed, dude. Like yeah. Big Lots has supplies to get through cold weather. <laughs> food water <laughs> exactly like yeah. yeah uh we're, we're gamestop my guy like at the what bottom of a doing? thing <laughs> snow everywhere like why and then we finally got the okay we're like well i guess if big lots is closed at six you guys can leave too yeah like, yeah oh wow uh, thank you so much yeah, we're yeah. still here nine to ten to six wow <laughs> just just awful but like yeah i'm glad that you had the the guts to stick up for yourself and that's a that's a yeah. tough thing like anybody who quits on the spot like that is yeah. a very tough thing to do to just be like no more sure. i can't do it anymore so like to do that for yourself and for your family to get out of there is, is amazing um did we talk about paul reigns in the home depot last time or was that just something no we okay no we talked so, about it when we were reviewing perfect for <laughs> example how much gamestop doesn't yeah. give a shit about you is paul reigns if you're a gamestop person you probably know who he is he was, you know, in charge. Um, did he die oh, before I left? Was, when did yeah. he die? Oh, yeah. Like 2014, 2015. Okay. So he probably died. He's been gone for a while. Yeah. So he, he unfortunately, like, you know, he got sick and he passed. He died. He passed away. Um, I can't say that that truly broke me up inside. But, like, every time <laughs> we would go to, like, a conference, he, you know, he'd, give it, he'd be up on stage giving his stupid speech, like – yeah, I like GameStop's going forward to the future. And I remember this one time I was running a Home Depot and there was a hurricane or a flood or a turn or whatever the hell, whatever natural disaster it was. It was I fought reason. I fought to keep my Home Depot open during a natural disaster. And it just showed like what we could do for the community. Dude, Wait, it is what? a home fucking <laughs> exactly in a right. hurricane. Yeah. What, what am I gonna do? What, buy lumber like, to get if my you're not shit lumbered together? up by now. It's over. Like, leave. But like to yeah. to, to force yeah. people to come to work. We were grilling hot dogs and all this stuff because power was out. It's like, what is wrong with you? You do, <laughs> like, do that your to, house, to argue please. to argue that you're doing it for the community, but you don't give a shit about people you're forcing to come to work. Because remember, he he can't technically force you to work, but. No. You could have been fired if you didn't show up during a hurricane. Exactly. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. It's the same policy GameStop has now. Like, the, yeah. remember you remember the COVID shit? It's never changed, especially in our. Oh, state. it was essential uh, businesses COVID. closed. GameStop. We sell batteries. We're essential. We sell keyboards. And, and heads <laughs> I remember, the, my favorite part of that was, and again, you and I were not there at the time, but we no, know we people not. that were working there at the yeah. time. But they had a specific on GSO like thing you had to print out to provide to the police officer in some states that would come to your store and say please close this is a state mandate and you give it to them like no you need to call our uh, corporate team yeah. because they said that we can be open like do you think that officer gave a fuck about calling that number no their literal <laughs> argument i remember was like, get out i would have been like sure. 
which help people work from home. So we're essential. Yeah, that was we sell that was the argument. We're essential. Are you out of your fucking mind? whatever scam, whatever the next scam was to to keep it open? Mm -hmm. They tried to pull that. And then For I sure. remember like the person I knew at the time who worked there, like the cops would just show up multiple times a day, like close. You are closed. Leave. <laughs> and then finally, remember, finally, they had to buckle. Um, yeah. Which I'm sure somebody threw a temper tantrum somewhere because they had to. Oh, absolutely. But, oh, of course. Like, absolutely. It's like any whatever the next con is, like a tornado can rip through the, the strip mall next to you. But as long as your store is not affected, we're going to need you to be there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't there a situation not at our store, but the store um, on the other side of town where a car drove through the building next door or something and they still didn't stay open? Something, I vaguely like, remember something that. like that. It wasn't um, the store they worked in, but it was the one next to it. And it kind of affected it a little bit, but it was store? like, yeah, I want to say so. Yeah. But like it did damage where it did affect it the one wall of the, the wall. store a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, um, of course they're like, nah, you got to stay open. Well, the other classic things, and I've, I've told you this wow. before, would be like, um, fire alarm goes off. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the fire alarm is blaring, you don't know where the fire is. Like, what do you do when a fire alarm goes off in a building you're in? You get out of the fucking you leave building. <laughs> because it could be anywhere. Yeah. Anything could happen. Exactly. No, yeah. you can't. You can't, though. You can't, though. No. I would have to stand at the front door and tell people who would keep coming up, like, you can't come in here. Why not? The fire alarm is going off. I just want to look around. Maybe you didn't hear what I just said to you. Maybe you don't hear yeah. the alarm. Because <laughs> remember, I remember one time the fire alarm went off and they didn't have keys to get into the alarm room. Oh, yeah. I remember they, that like, now. They break it down yeah. to get in there. That was good. Um, or good or the classic uh, power goes out for the day. There was a Sunday I was working with Eric. and uh, I remember that. It was yeah. like Sundays were chill because it was like 11 to 6 fine whatever and sundays were were not bad they yeah, were not bad and then but it's like it was like 12 o'clock and power is just gone just gone you go outside everybody and the thing's gone big lots is down everybody's down the thing across the street yeah. everybody's down so you start looking into it and you know you finally get that thing where you get an update it's like power should be restored around i don't know 4 30 so yeah. i called our dm at the time i said give me a heads up uh power's out like completely and the power company says 4.30, like four hours from now. <laughs> well, you could still let people come into the store. I said, you want people to shop in the dark in the store? Because our store was deep. <laughs> and the further yeah, you went in, it got darker. The darker it gets. Yeah. And like, yeah. I can't ring anything up. Well, you can hand ring stuff up. What are you talking about? Yeah. Are you insane? Like, what am I supposed to write stuff down? Like, yeah, give me your credit card number. I'm just going to write it down. What the fuck? Yeah. No, do cash. <laughs> Who carries cash? I can't, I can't, exactly. no way I can pop the registers with my fucking key. I'm supposed to calculate exactly. tax. What if they've got credit? None of this makes any sense. And the best yeah. part was, is like the other store in the town had power. Had was power. Right. Because long story short, somebody had run into like a transformer box and fucking blew That's it up. That's what it was, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, okay. And so I would just I tell people, know. like, I lock the door, put a note on it that says temporarily uh, closed. We have no power. This such and such store is open. He made us sit in that store for hours. Yeah. In the dark, doing nothing. <laughs> we just fucked around on our phones the whole time. And finally, yeah. I want to say like 2 30 rolled around. We still didn't have power. And I called him again. I'm like, we're done, dude. Like, we're done for the day. Like, there's nothing. Even if the power comes back on now, anybody who thought we were open thinks we're closed for today. Is is done. And he finally buckled. He, he was just like. And I told I told Eric, I'm like, don't worry, you'll get paid for the whole day. But uh, yeah, yeah, because I think because by the so time stupid. I checked at that point, too, it was like power. We don't we don't know when the power is going to be back on. Yeah, it's like, dude, I'm not going to sit here over seven hours yeah. in the dark. Fuck off. Yeah, but like even that, even something like that, even that, yeah, impossible. Could not impossible. know. But like a hurricane, yeah, disgusting. That always I, that Home Depot story always pissed me off. Yeah. <clears throat> I uh, got a game recommendation. Peggy from Mesa, Arizona. Hey, guys, I had a game recommendation. Have any of you played Made of Scare? I think you say Scare. Scare, yeah. Scare, something like that. It's spelled I'd it. say it's a great Halloween time game. Extremely spooky. Um, They gave this game away with <laughs> with games with gold, which is not the best service. But uh, it got updated at some point to uh, Series X. It was a limited Adam run game. Stuff. They released it for PS5. Yeah, for PS4 and PS5. So mm -hmm. uh, I have not. I probably will check it out. 
Uh, Put that on the site for this any, month, man. Anything, anything, and everything spooky. I will I will always give a try. Yeah, so, put, it, put on the slate for this month. Get spooked. I might. I might because I'm still tooling yeah. around what I want to play, but I'm trying to keep everything to the piece. I think that game's supposed to be pretty short, though. No. I don't think it's very long. <clears throat> no. It's like maybe three, four hours, I would guess. All right, next email. I got I got the email I want. <laughs> I asked last week. I was like, anybody out there in a the dead oh, mall, yeah. mm-hmm. please email in. This comes to us from Ron from Bloomington, Illinois, one of my old stomping grounds when That's I was in far, junior yeah. high. Yeah. Uh, hi, guys. Love the podcast. Former GameStop employee here. I wanted to answer Kyle's call on the last episode to anyone that worked in a dead mall type scenario. I worked in Eastland Mall, which is currently still open and has an active GameStop. I know that mall pretty Kyle, well. you should road uh, trip. I do want to go visit Bloomington <laughs> a little bit. Um, I will say that up until the pandemic, our mall was doing well. But when the shutdowns hit the state, I was let go. I was not brought back due to the budget cuts with the store. Obviously, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, however, I still actively shop there. And I can tell you that it is quite dead. Uh, the mall itself has kept up well. And there are other outlets that do just fine. I think having Coles as an anchor still goes a long way in 2022. But on a typical day, the employees that are there may see 10 customers total. From my understanding, the rent is cheap, so they do just enough to get by. I hope this helps answer your curiosity. Yeah, because I was just curious. Like, I watch all yeah, these dead mall videos, and I'm like, how is that fucking store if, still I mean, if the, mall, if the mall's still active, rent has to be almost nothing. Dead. Almost like nothing. nothing. Because yeah. they just want bodies in there. And GameStop mm-hmm. is not a place to pass up cheap rent no um, no and especially yeah. in a mall like that, that. <laughs> it, with that few customers that store yeah. maybe has four people on staff it's probably sl2 to be fair oh, um, absolutely it's because a that's, mall what they, that's what they do to those yeah um i mean i could see it being open until like it literally can't be anymore which is kind of what absolutely. happened to the one in in our mall uh, yeah, we're that was literally like, just we're... open until it couldn't be anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you I just, road trip it, dude. You know that place. I, I want to. I do want it, to. Dude. I've not been to Bloomington. Come down here come, once. Come once. pick me up and let's go. Hey man, I told you. <laughs> man, wait, fly in that that, that uh, own that gaming place. It's, oh yeah, it's man. Like an hour, dude. I'm there. there. Yeah. It's great. great. What are we doing next there week? Monday, yeah. Columbus Day. Celebrate the correct way. Celebrate. Yeah. But it's yeah, no, doing, that uh, I remember that mall as a kid being really cool. I, I don't think I've ever been down there. To, I'm gonna do some digging tonight, see if I can find a mall video. Oh, I bet sure I, there's got to be at least one. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I follow like every one of those channels. Uh, let's see. <laughs> if not, you and I can go shoot it. Let's do it. All right. Hey there, let's let's go. Uh, go. Will from Rochester, New York. Hi guys, love the show. Been listening to it for a while now. I was curious, as you guys have mentioned in the past, especially the episode of Ryan, that you are wrestling fans. What is your take on the current state of wrestling between WWE with Vince being gone now and AEW where it seems like shit is blowing up every day? Do you think AEW is heading towards that WCW demise or can they pull through? Thanks. Um, I will say like for me, I, I am closer than I have ever been since I stopped watching as to getting back to watching WWE content. Yeah. Is what I would tell you. Yeah. Because now with Vince being gone, like it, seems really appealing obviously triple h is it like this is the scenario that most wrestling fans for the last like 10 you and i you and i talk about that a lot yeah Yeah. you talk about all the time all the time like he needs to just take over let's just do it um it seems like that's going really fucking well um also like if Mm -hmm. if you know i I, we were just talking about it a little bit ago but if you know bray wyatt is coming back i'm really interested in seeing that because i really liked his last run before he was unceremoniously well, like before you know, before COVID hit, Vince, bought out and Vince went crazy. Yeah. Like Vince just yeah. went absolutely nuts once COVID hit. I mean, and I get it because like they couldn't have shows, they couldn't make money, they had to cut stuff. But it seemed like he just lost his mind during that. And you know, Triple H was always so successful. My this, thing is Matt, Matt will have a lot to yeah. say on this. I was gonna say <laughs> my thing is is a Bray Wyatt. And the way that he can manipulate his characters mm-hmm. and how he mm-hmm. plays his story should be on the level of the New Age Undertaker. Yeah. When the Undertaker was first brought into WWE, he was like unstoppable. Mm-hmm. He went mm-hmm. through everybody. Mm-hmm. Like it took him a good while to finally lose. And it's like the issue with Vince is like you build Bray Wyatt either as Bray Wyatt or the Fiend, whatever you want to do with him, you bring him up. 
And then you just shit all over him. He loses every yeah, match yeah. he's in, every big time thing he's doing. And it's like, well, what's important? Of course I'm going to be pissed off or of course I'm going to mm-hmm. be upset because I'm building this character from the ground up. You're selling merchandise. Like I'm I'm a hot seller and yet I don't have anything to yeah. show for it. Like each run he's gotten with the world title has been yeah, complete was, garbage, but he's not a no, bad he's not, character. No. Oh, he's like, one of the best they do need, he's a fantastic they need that, character. Like, you're right. They need like an Undertaker style dark. I said like, Finn Balor could have done it, but they killed that quick <clears throat> when Finn came yeah. out. Like, um, I yeah. love the NXT Finn Balor. Run. NXT, like, like, that's because Triple H was in charge of NXT. Exactly. All of NXT was good. <laughs> mm, exactly. <laughs> like all of it was good. Like all the all the women's yeah. matches were the best you'd ever see. Like it, people oh, still absolutely. talk. Oh, people yeah. still talk about Bailey Sasha oh. NXT. Yeah, like as like the best oh, women's yeah. match of all time, and they're not wrong. Yeah, but um, no, not at all. Yeah, like I, I'm a lot more interested now because Triple H is in charge and he knows what the hell he's doing. And at the same yeah. time, like the part of the AW part of the question, like Tony Khan has lost his yeah. mind. Like he is no, that dude. <laughs> he's fucking he off the rocket. Has bro. no clue what he's doing anymore, and all he keeps doing is pissing off major talent and pushing he's, the wrong people. He's Vince Russo if Vince Russo had an <clears throat> infinite blank check. When Cody at this point, this past week, he was complete. Like my thing about it is the the problem I'm having is whether or not the beef your wrestlers are putting on Twitter is real or fake. When they get to the arena and you know it, the beef might actually be real, that's when you should step in and be <laughs> yeah, like, "Hey exactly. guys, yeah, let's not A fucking do what we real. just happened yeah. two weeks ago." Uh, yeah and like obviously like the punk stuff is nuts when you let cody go that was nuts because cody started the whole fucking company he did like it just yeah could they go full wcw maybe Maybe. but i think tony khan's pride will stop that like his ego will stop that yeah i could see a future where wwe just buys it and it just it just all comes back now it now with Triple H being in charge, yes, I see now, it. I, now that, it would never have happened. Now that WWE game. is not a poison place, like you see. All and the other thing too is like yeah. you can see everybody's happy. Like, yeah, like you can wrong. point to Cody as an example of like, hey, I'm back over here. It's okay now. Right. <laughs> like, like you know, yeah, for Cody so, to come yeah. back after Vince treated him like pure garbage when he left. Yeah. Oh, oh God, God. Yeah. ruined and wouldn't listen to him like he had good ideas for his character that he hated yeah. to make it better hated and said Stardust. no <laughs> like for cody to come back that kind of signals that like it's okay it's it's a safe place okay. again yeah um i think at this point may, maybe that probably would be best for them to just merge back together um, i would i would agree i think it will happen no nah, not for a while AEW is getting to a place a where it's like oddly too big for itself it is and and it's yeah. um it's not you gotta get that video game out <laughs> you gotta get that out and then from there we can do whatever but they they yeah. they, they yeah. promised a lot of stuff when it started <clears throat> like people are going to get opportunities and all this kind of and then it never happened yeah. and it doesn't you, happen because they keep signing former wwe talent right well or, that was that wrestlers was the problem wrestlers that shouldn't wrestle anymore like sting who yeah. i love dearly please stop wrestling <laughs> I think the problem was when they just started to <laughs> yeah. buy every cast off. They got yeah. e- everybody keep. Yeah. Because they had legitimately have a good one. Well, the thing, crazy thing about it of talent. Yeah. Jericho, even Jericho. And, you know, when they first started, the whole thing was like, we're not going to sign every WWE <laughs> guy that leaves WWE. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you legit. They legit you have, have yeah, signed every much. WWE guy that has left. And and with Cody, it's like, you're right. Cody started help start AEW because Cody was the person who was like, when they were like, you can't sell out Madison yeah. square garden. He was like, I think, we, I can, think we can, fellas. I think we yeah. can fucking do this. Yeah. And it's like, why would you let, why would you let the, the pretty much the face of your company go? Like, cause he goes, that's stupid. It, it was and from what like, I've read, Khan is nuts. Yeah. Remember that? Remember that all in? From what I've read, you Kenny Omega and it, the yeah. bucks, their contract ends in yeah, January. Oh, Kenny yeah. Omega. Yeah. Like he already seems checked out. Yeah. Omega needs to go over to WWE. I would love. Oh to see God, him. can you imagine, mm-hmm. imagine the pop if he comes out? <sighs> I will watch. Don't it. let him do. What if he came out during oh, the Royal Rumble? Oh, right, right. Yeah, what if he right. came out to that? Exactly. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, he would get. Let's just put that into the galaxy. The AJ, AJ Styles level thing when AJ Styles came out that one year. When oh, 
I still oh, remember so Edge amazing. coming back too at the Rumble. That yeah. was huge too. Yeah, so. but like uh, a Kenny yeah. Omega. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would be huge. Wild. A huge pop. Yeah, yeah I, I just wrestling's in a weird place. Um, but WWE. But I'm oddly, is in a good I'm oddly place. like on the edge of like going back. Yeah, because like I, I happened. stopped yeah. with Mania 2020 because that's where it was in a weird place. Taker retired. COVID. They, you were, you would have those COVID things where it's like there's no audience, so it's just fucking weird. You know, I like, and I kind of just checked out. And then you have on top of it, you know, McMahon who's just kind of ruining everything. So, uh, but I'm you know never never been closer so we'll see the wwe at least i do want to play that aew game though yeah yeah what, with I all that said, it. i just need, <laughs> yes i would like to play that i just game. want to see it i just want to see it so great question though great mm-hmm. question yeah, um let's see question. carrie from gainesville florida hey guys i have a random question this is a good one movie games get a lot have gotten a lot of shit for a lot of years but in your opinion what do you think is the best video game based on a movie thanks so we've had we've Dan, you have a couple ideas here. I have a couple I've thrown out here. Uh, I mean, the, some of them that go without saying Goldeneye. So Goldeneye, like, if you're looking for like the best example of what a a movie based video game could be, especially at the time, yeah, Goldeneye like, is probably number one, just because like we we were talking about it has no right to be that good it for, shouldn't have for been the, as good as it was remember, at its time we shit on goldeneye a lot but at its time <laughs> it um <laughs> it was incredible and like for yeah. that to be based directly off a movie where like literally like the cover of the box is the movie cover like that the levels are the, the levels are the level movie. the people yeah. are in it the dialogue is it's crazy pierce is in it they do the little credits thing at the end where it's like this person is this person like that's yeah. that's probably the best example of of how to make it good that being said it's not my favorite one no. um my favorite one is spider-man 2 like the you know the xbox piece yeah the GameCube era one. That. Mm-hmm. um yeah but, but that kind of yeah. stretches is it a movie game because like things happen in the game that aren't in the movie like you fight mysterio exactly all that kind of stuff so like it, it is sure. an yeah. expansion of, of what exists um yeah so that kind of stretches it, but it's still, I mean, the cover is the movie. Like it's still Toby. Like it is, it is the, yeah. the movie game. The only other one, the the main one I thought of was um, the warriors for like PS2 and Xbox is like, that basically is it, that movie. And yeah, that's a rock star it game. It's great. <laughs> um, I remember they showed yeah. that mm-hmm. to me at the game crazy conference I went to. Yeah. I remember them showing us and just, and we were like, good Lord. Like this is insanely good. <laughs> <laughs> um and they play it. it's it's really good um yeah those are the main ones i've got some more but i'll let you guys go first um i mean i mean i threw two on here that are obvious choices for me but the 89 batman game i mean again we're getting into the territory of things that happen in that game that don't happen in the movie and then a more modern example yeah. the batman begins game that's a really it's it's almost like splinter cell at times yeah uh, i played it on gamecube really yeah, I, play, yeah. I, I can't remember if I played on GameCube or X. It was either that or the original Xbox, but because uh, it was on everything. But a uh, really good example of a movie based game that was pleasantly surprising at the time. Like, very right. it should have sucked. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, it yeah. should have been bad. Because there are a lot of bad, bad, <laughs> a lot of bad tying games. Oh, yeah. So um, what other ones or, or do you have any? Matt, you had a good one. Uh, yeah, The Born Conspiracy was the one that we uh, chit chatted about. I. I bought it because I thought like the uh, I thought it looked pretty good compared to other video games. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I played like a hand. I think I played maybe an hour and a half. And after we talked about it, I was like, maybe I should pick it back up. That game's just kind of <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. yeah. Like, that game has really. Yeah. So I think I'm, I think that I'm game has really good, that. like brutal hand to hand contact. Yeah, like does. combat yeah um it's also a game where it's another one of those games where like you don't have to use a gun a lot if you don't want to um yeah a lot of it can be solved yeah. like beat them up it's got some weird driving mm-hmm. levels um the only downside to that game was uh he's not licensed for it so it's just like generic, yeah, it's like a X. generic guy yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah other than that it basically is the movie and that was a good one um a couple other good ones i yeah. thought of too where uh we talked about a little bit before but like that king kong game not bad not a terrible game. Not a bad game. Yeah, yeah and I playing I as Kong was yeah. playing as Kong was fun. Um, again, it's also like stretches what's in the movie. 360 launch title. There mm-hmm. wasn't much. So here's another good one, and I don't know if you ever played a combat. That Captain America game. 
on the 360. Oh, um, I did not, but I it's remember basically it just that, it's just it's just Batman. It's but okay. it was basically an Arkham game, <laughs> uh, okay. but pretty good. Uh, it had, it had it, the it, same. Is it, was, it the events of that movie? Pretty much. Again, okay. stretches stuff out, but it, it was basically Arkham Asylum because it was actually like one big level that like eventually you okay. come back around and you'd go through it a different way and stuff. That's that game cool. actually wasn't bad. And then um, this is getting a lot looser, but the Punisher game is oh hell yeah technically it's a movie yeah. Tom J- they have tom jane's voice in that yeah so technically game. technically it is but um i got one other one i just thought yeah, of that you're gonna like yeah and i will i will also preface with saying not a great movie game the movie tying game was better than the, the movie and that is the x-men origins wolverine game not a terrible game like the like, one where you just play as him really? yeah 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 and surprisingly enjoyable yeah it was, <laughs> like, it was brutal it was m-rated, m-rated. Yeah. brutal yeah like really surprisingly good speaking of um a bond games too quantum of solace is not bad um because yeah, it was because one. it was call of duty 4 but james bond because yeah. it ran off the same engine and everything it was the last yeah. it was like the last bond game they made I had multiplayer too like that yeah it was like the last one they made in that style where like it actually followed the movie's I mean, they made that. Legend. Yeah, because then they made that weird Trash. Legends one, and then they made those weird race. Like, there's the racing one, mm-hmm. um, Bloodstone, I think it's called. Yeah, they did. So they did. I need a copy. Of they that. went through weird yeah. phases where, like, they would make a movie based one and then not a movie based one. Yeah, like they did that from Russia with Love, which was cool, just because like it was like you that's got a, a really cool you got a Connery yeah. Bond yeah. game. Um, yeah. I really wish they had done more of that. Like, I wish they would have done like, okay, so now here's. Uh, you only live twice or finger. Yeah. yeah something like that. They could have done Thunderball, yeah, but they, yeah. they chickened out and just made that legend thing, which was absolute fucking garbage. I mean, uh, the other thing that I'll say too, is like, we're primed <laughs> for that, uh, IO game, like the bond game. That's exactly yeah. that's time for a bond game. Come mm. back. And that developer will fucking that is make a killer. The per- that is the people I want <laughs> to make that game. Um, <laughs> so, but it's weird too, because exactly. I was thinking about it. Like we're not in the era where they make, movie games anymore no we're in the era where people no, fucking make uh you take the property of game adaptations home. yeah of a movie yeah, yeah exactly who's the other way sonic in the mario movie uncharted now. you know uncharted um, yeah uh, oh you know what I, another one i never played but i know people like it or were those lord of the rings ones i played one of them and like, i, thought it was I remember high. people going oh, yeah. fucking nuts for like two towers was it the or third age towers? or the two towers? okay yeah. i can't remember it's one of those i was gonna say i think two towers what was that yeah game? that was yeah. that era i remember oh, i remember selling yeah, them to people yeah, yeah. and they everybody loved those ones because i remember specifically that was one of those first games where like it was cut scene and then you're playing the game yeah I mean, like you know kind of that in it so i, re- I never played yeah. it because i'm not lord of the rings person but i remember people liking those Okay. Yeah. No, those are some good ones mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, let's see here. The next email we have comes from Randy from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He says, hi guys. I'm curious if we will see a mid generation upgraded system, this console generation, like last gen, or do you think because of all the supply issues that each company sticks with what they have for the entire generation? Um, it's a, it's an interesting question because I th- like, do I think that we're going to get, like mid tier, like a PS5 Pro and a series, whatever. I this generation, I don't think so. And the reason I don't think so is because we're we're what two we're two years. It seems like mm-hmm. we're further in the shirt, but we're two years into it. We still can't get PS5s in people's hands. You know, the Series X is a little more, but these systems are still really powerful. We haven't had a lot of games that fully take advantage of right. these systems yet. These are still games that are right. basically PS4 and Xbox One games that play at a higher. Frame. I think. I think what's more likely is we get small little iterations where, like, we change the heatsink and all that kind of because they've already done it with PlayStation yeah. a couple times, or they slim it down but, a little bit because um, they do that every yeah. Xbox mm-hmm. generation. But these systems are going to last a very long time exactly we probably got at least another decade i would guess um is there is there a ps5 pro at some point (sighs) eventually i don't think eventually eventually, i think yeah eventually i think eventually because at some point and microsoft will do it too at some point they're going to be like we've got a better processor or we've got a better whatever like at some point it'll have i just don't think it's anytime soon no and i think and I and I do think that if that happens, we're talking like 2027. 20, 20, yeah, we're talking. We're talking a long time. But like, if that happens, that might be it. 
Like, okay. Because what is the next console? I don't at this point. Like, what is it? I don't know. Like, is it? We're getting close to the point where like streaming, like streaming, will eventually get there. But also, like, how hard is it going to be to not just build this into the TV that you're buying? Right. And then you're buying the subscription service. Well, and I think you Microsoft yeah. will would be more keen totally go that would more be more keen to do that they'd be more willing to sell you a box that's you know they're already working on that streaming stick that yeah. they've rumored for a while well, and like what do you do there you put a a, you put some storage in there and you download the game it doesn't even have to be a stick it could just be like a box that's the size of a game boy or something <laughs> yeah you know what i mean just exactly. something something that has yeah. storage in it and mm-hmm. and a good internet receiver in it and yeah. and make that the cloud thing. Sony, I think, would be more keen on to we're going to make another system. We're going to sell you another box. I believe so too. And They're Nintendo, that Nintendo will it. always be like that too. Um, yeah. What that is with Nintendo, who knows? Mm. Because they don't like. It'll be another make, handheld hybrid. It has they to have be. To keep it has that. to. They have to. And they don't. They can't go back now. Yeah, they don't. But the, the other part about them is weird. Is like they don't like to release kind of the same thing in a row. You know, like yeah. the 64 yeah. to the GameCube is very GameCube. different. GameCube is different. very different. Wildly different. Wii U was... has this fucking touchpad thing now. And now the Switch yeah. is we've merged both of our lines into one thing. But I don't there's yeah. not a way to come right. back from where the Switch is now. I know. So it's just iterations on that that are more powerful forever. Because yeah. Nintendo will never be yeah. the company that's like it. Just you just stream never. it. It's all just online. Like they're never. new with certain cloud shit, but it's like the Capcom stuff and the other stuff and like the games that don't make sense to like release on a cartridge for their system. For sure. But as those cartridges can get bigger, which they obviously can. Um, yeah. And, you know, not that bigger physically, but like technically, the bigger storage. Yeah. Wise. Like it's always going to be. Yeah. We we upgraded the screen. You know, in 20 years, that screen will be your OLED screen, 6K <laughs> OLED or whatever, or some shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so like they'll always do it. But Microsoft, I could, I could literally see him just being like, "Here's the Xbox Series, whatever," and it's like slightly redesigned. It's got a better graphics card and a better processor. But maybe that's yeah. good for them. That could be it. I can see it. Yeah, and then it's just all Stadia from that point. <laughs> stadia comes back stadia. a competent working stadia stadia 2 there we go they, they call it that yeah just fuck it who cares stadia 2 the real series s yeah. and then they put you know I, stadia in i mean I, i'm the kind of person that they come out in five years and they go ps5 pro and i go yep and i buy it and i get yep. my ps5 no. uh, yep. that'd be the same for me but maybe it's not called the ps5 pro or something maybe it's just called the playstation or something at some point like Get rid of these fucking numbers. Get away it's from PlayStation. the PlayStation. Yeah, it's just like it's. I think it's worse on the Xbox side because, like, what what is a Series X? What is a Series that S? thing? Like, we it talked just, about it before it came out. It should have just been called the fucking Xbox. How it's, many years we said yeah. it's just called the next one? The it's Xbox far enough removed from the original Xbox that you could just call it an Xbox. Plus, it plays Xbox games. Just, the best part is like at some point Xbox. they re- <laughs> they literally rebranded their boxes to say just xbox yes and then they put the little sticker on there it says series x or whatever it's like dumb. it's very dumb just so, all at the xbox it's more on it. all right so our final email uh comes in from rick from houston texas he says hi guys just a quick question has sony lost it with shit like unnecessary remakes raising the price of the console on most territories and a continuing slow output of exclusive games what is happening they dominated the last console generation. It seems like right now they are just floundering and making bad decision after bad decision. Thoughts. Um, I think a lot of it's, <laughs> I think a lot of it stems from that CEO. He, well, I just don't. I was going to say, for he, the, he answered his own question in here. Like the problem is yeah. they dominated the last generation. They look, got too cocky. Look what happened yeah. the last time they did. They had the, they made the PS3. The PS3. <laughs> and the ps3 was shit for a while like it was they had to really yeah. come around completely on that. redo mean, it they redesigned it to a much better box but like sony rides this wave of like their <laughs> they do playstation comes in it does pretty well make the ps2 greatest selling system of all time oh yeah. yeah we we yeah. can't be wrong we beat nintendo we're number one the playstation 3 is 600 dollars Oops. And now Ooh. we're all the way back at the bottom again. Towards the end of the PS3, kind of kicks <laughs> up. PS4 comes out. 
Xbox makes a mistake like they did. Very big mistake. Make, Xbox makes a huge mistake. Console defining Jeez. mistake. PS4 capitalizes immediately and says, mm-hmm. here's how you do use games. They put out a silly little video. Yeah, here's, they literally took back the market convince Convince everyone. <laughs> and PS4 rockets to the top. One of the best yeah. selling systems of all time. We beat we beat everybody again. We can't do anything wrong. Uh oh, <laughs> it's just it, that company really goes. <laughs> here's by who here's the part. ugliest design system you've ever yeah. seen. It's the PS5, but it's okay. You'll buy it, right? <laughs> Which it's I did. But... And now in other places, yeah. it's five hundred and fifty dollars. And now Microsoft's so buying people, decisions. and we're not. And oh no, and that it, that company really ebbs and flows. Well, like who is in charge? It does. Like, and like, in, especially yeah, in the end of the P- I mean, the other thing that people have to remember at the end of the PS3 generation is you, you had a really good CEO in Jack Trenton, probably one of the best that they've ever had. And you also had that terrible, and I, this would not fly today. It would not go down today. The six week blackout yeah. for PSN that people like to forget. Right. Where it literally, it literally killed system. So calm. System was franchise. already struggling. And then that just murdered it. 2011 hit. Man, yeah. I remember, I remember that. it was Mortal Kombat. It was Portal, Portal 2. I'm trying to think of the games that came out. And then so calm. It killed that game. That's why that franchise doesn't it, exist anymore. It's, it yeah. literally killed that game because, because people could not play it. You couldn't play right it. Away. It was unplayable for six um, weeks. And that's what, and that's what started the creation of PlayStation mm-hmm. Plus. It was just a membership thing to get free games. And right. then it turned into let's roll online into it because we really need you to pay for that now. Yeah, please pay for Obviously. it now so we can actually make yeah. it work. Make it better. Because everybody's like, uh, well, Xbox doesn't go down. It's like you pay for that. You know, it like, does, but it's it's but, like a couple minutes. Right. Maybe well, they've, had, they've, had, you know they've I mean? had some bad they've had some bad periods over time, but yeah. it never for six weeks. And it was because you paid oh. for it. You paid money exactly. for that for someone somewhere to sit in a room full of servers. And but I even think like work. through the PS4 yeah. generation, you had decent leadership too. I mean, even at the end, you had Sean Lane, and then right. he left, and then he leaves. And now, now you have now you have Jack. Tra- I don't think under like Sean Lane, I I don't think he would be crying about this Call of Duty thing as he much would, because there was be an understanding. He would least. take it. He would take it, and he'd go, "Okay, so this is what's happening. What can we do? What can to we make do? PlayStation exactly. better?" And he would go out yeah. and he would figure something go. out. Or you know what he would do. Because he's a decent person, he'd get out his little phone, scroll through his contacts, and be like, "Oh, though, hey, there's Phil. Let me just call Phil real quick." Yeah, yeah, hey, exactly. What's going on with uh, you guys at Activision? Yeah, can we still get Call of Duty? And Phil goes, "Yeah, man, whatever." Like, exactly. This guy, <laughs> this Jack Ryan guy, is just acting like if that happens, it is a you know catalytic. Like it's going to blow everything up. It's over. PlayStation's dead as a brand. Like that's literally how this act, guy is acting. It's like every single time. Call of Duty is the backbone of video gaming. And it's not. It's like, not anymore. It's really and not. you know what? Six years ago, seven years ago, sure. 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 Black Ops One and Black Ops Two era, absolutely. Absolutely. Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare exactly. Two, absolutely. Now, not really. I don't people don't talk not about really. it as much. Like will it sell? It still sells yes. very well. Absolutely. absolutely. But oh yeah. All, all it would take is to not be antagonistic and go to, <laughs> and be like, hey, Phil, can we can we get together? We'll have a business meeting. I'll tell you my concerns. You tell me your plans. Let's talk about it. And then they have an adult <laughs> discussion about it. And don't, <laughs> exactly. don't go online and just start fucking <laughs> crying and pissing and moaning. Oh, they're going to take it away. Microsoft. I have to fly to Brussels. Get yeah, on, like if that rumor is true, I hope it's not. The I really hope it's not. Jet and fly to Brussels to try to stop to try and stop this thing action. from going through. It's like he's lost his mind. It is ignoring everything else because, God forbid, this deal goes through, which it's it's gonna happen, right? And, and like I just, yeah, it's just utterly insane. The unnecessary <laughs> remake stuff. It's like that's because they know they know they can make a quick buck, and it's all about for them. It's keeping the money train especially because i think some of these other games that they have that are not being announced probably are being developed as ps5 ps5 exclusive sure and you can't well, put and, that's, out and that's probably where part of the people. like yeah. the slow output of exclusive stuff is is like for sure they don't want to make ps4 games anymore they have to like they have to right exactly yeah do you think they really want to put god of war out on ps4 no, no. they don't not at but all they're gonna have to but they want they the money to. they want the money from it they want the money um exactly Exactly. It's just yeah, it's just it's it's a combination of the person who's in charge and <laughs> just like thinking they're infallible. 
Nintendo well, they, Nintendo thought they were infallible twice. With the yeah. 64, they're like, no, yeah, and like nobody could touch us. And when the GameCube was out, we're gonna make fucking mini discs. And everyone, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. And then remember, GameCube at the time, not a popular system by any means. No. Well remembered no, today, but people don't oh, I love it. But yeah. People don't remember the bad part no, of that, which no, was no. people fucking hated the game. GameCube could have out. GameCube could have killed Nintendo, and then they were like, "Fuck it, we're gonna go all in. We're gonna make this Wii thing, and we're just gonna be like, Nintendo's about fun." Reggie comes in. Reggie Reggie talks it up. Reggie's the Wagon greatest. His yeah. yeah, he's mm-hmm. the, he's the greatest thing mm-hmm. that ever happened. Nintendo comes in. He's like, "We don't." That's when they finally were like, "We don't care about Sony. We don't care about Microsoft." Yeah. We make Nintendo games for Nintendo fans. And bam, Wii is the best, best thing go. in the world. And then they're like, check this shit out. Wii U. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Like it's all it's all got a big goal. <laughs> and like, you know, it is. um but like just the new Sony guy, it's just like I don't the other I thing don't like that I'll add to the like Sony thing too is like Microsoft also told them like in extension to whenever I assume this deal, this was either ended this year or it's ended next year. The deal Mm -hmm. they said, we'll extend it for three more years. Right. And then we'll have a conversation about reevaluating that deal at that time. That's all that was said. (laughs) But this guy takes it as, Oh, they're going to take my call of duty away from me and my system and company is going to go away. Like, no, it's not. (laughs) It's just, it's weird to me because he never Microsoft wants to make money. He never talks about all of the other property properties are getting with this deal diablo warcraft yeah. king like the candy crush people none of that's important yeah but no. how dare they take my call to duty away it's world of warcraft sh- still oh, has what gosh. at 15 million active subscribers i don't think it's that like, high anymore but it still makes okay. money like still makes money king i mean diablo is going to be an insanely huge candy crush is going to make especially being money. on game pass like, i'm like <laughs> where was where was sony and and these guys when they bought fucking bethesda and they took starfield away <laughs> And they could potentially, if they really felt like it, they take really ES6 to. away. I they could. really could if they wanted to. But I really don't feel yeah. like they want – Starfield, I get they it. Won't. Starfield, I get it's it. It's a new franchise. New franchise, it's ours. Microsoft now. wants it Bye. to be known as an Xbox right. franchise, and that's fine. But Elder They Scroll- need a franchise that's actually going to come out. But so. they have released <laughs> Skyrim on Switch <laughs> since they have bought this company. So, yeah. yeah, they'll probably release six on everything. I think so. But again, he doesn't even talk about it. Doesn't no. even bring it up. No, it's just it's all Call of Duty. Just because he wants the Warzone money, he wants people buying PlayStation Network cards to play. Well, and that's the, the other reason why Sony is. I mean, Sony is heavily investing way more than they have in the past in the live service games. Mm-hmm. Like, ex, like first party. Like this is only bought, on PlayStation. That's why they bought Bungie? Yeah, to control the Destiny. Oh, absolutely. Money. Yeah, for whatever Which, the next it, version of in that. In comparison is. to the Blizzard Activision deal, it just seems like a drop in the bucket in terms of money. But like a lot of people play Destiny. Still, a lot of people. A lot play of people Destiny. do, and it's free to play. Right. So yeah, it's, because they make money big... in the game. Mm-hmm. But so, I don't remember. That's a huge franchise. I don't remember Phil stomping his feet and flying to Brussels when Sony bought Bungie. <laughs> I also don't remember like and we I think we talked about it on the last on the last episode too. It's like, you know, at the same time I have a hard time with this guy throwing a fit about this whole situation when, you know, in February I get Hogwarts with the, you know, it's exclusive mm-hmm. fucking mission that's on PlayStation. Well they're gonna and like, they're gonna pull just, that shit with Grand Theft Auto Six too. They're gonna do it. Oh, absolutely. Well, They'll be it'll be part oh, yeah, of GT definitely. Online or right. something or or oh this character gets this or something yeah he's he has no problems when he does it but what somebody yeah, else absolutely. <laughs> just like, even just the the hint of the idea that call of duty might just be you know thanos snapped out of existence for playstation mm-hmm. one day like laugh, it's just mind-blowing i laugh about it guy. too because like clearly like obviously this this person emailed us like Rick emailed us. Yeah. It's like, it's not just us that feel this way. I, everybody is watching oh, what this man is doing. You go to- Well, it's every week. There is some new piece to this story. Yeah. Like this week it was Microsoft put up yeah. their own fucking website. That's like, here are the benefits. It's literally lays it out. This is the benefits of why you want this deal to go through more games for everybody. Right. Like it'll be on because game pass. What? Like we can help fund these games to get made. So everyone can play them. Not to mention the amount of IPs that they're going to get involved, you know, like he's literally Phil Spencer can have the keys to a huge castle of a bunch of old IPs. They could pull some stuff from 20 years ago. Right. Franchises that have been dormant that they'll do something with that 
right now, Sony would Blizzard rather, and Activision do shit about Sony it. Sony would rather that Microsoft not buy it and nothing ever gets made other than Call of Duty ever again. <laughs> exactly. than to than to let Microsoft <laughs> buy them and continue to release Call of Duty on their system. Well, they have to put out yeah. their seventy dollar remasters too. Though. Well, I mean, don't get through that out there. I too. can't. <laughs> I can't wait. How will you live without Horizon <laughs> Zero Dawn? I can't wait for my, yeah. I can't wait for my Horizon Two remaster next year. Exactly, oh, it's just ridiculous. But I agree, I agree, and I, I I know there's a ton of people out there as well that like feel the same way. Where you just it's like every week I th- I scroll through the IGN app and I'm just like, now what fucking dumb and, stupid thing has been said about? This and you know deal? what? If you're a consumer. If you're if someone listening to this podcast who has to make a decision in four years <laughs> about what system to buy <laughs> and call of, and Call of Duty is the break point, um, then you're gonna have to buy an Xbox, I guess. Like that's yeah, all it is. Yes, like that's that's all. Sh- like, yeah. And you know what? Fine, that's four years. <laughs> that's four. <laughs> Jesus, man. exactly. But thank thank you for the email. Thank you for all the emails. Yeah, as always, as always send them yes. into yeah, podcast five seventy two at gmail dot com. Um, also, uh, your your game recommendations as well, because we always like reading them. We're gonna force well. we're gonna force Kyle to play that made a scare game, just so that I probably I, I, I'll, yeah. I'll figure you're, something to out. make I'll sure that your recommendations it's under five hours. Have you I have <laughs> Peggy demands I've, you play made of scare. <laughs> <laughs> i have five i have five nights i'm streaming this month for games you and, already own it uh if you one thing if you had to buy i do it, i own it on the xbox yeah. i probably move it in here yeah so but yeah no i probably will definitely check that out but yeah for sure uh i as always send all that stuff in you want to send me more dead mall like i know there's more GameStop Any, dead malls. i love reading anything that. and everything like we were talking about it before before we started recording like Matt and I were telling Kyle, like Kyle's like, oh, I put more emails in the document. We were like, I just love the fact that people email in so that we can talk. <laughs> about stuff. I really, I appreciate oh, yeah, it. Man. Like you do not under, like even believe that people <laughs> care enough 100%. to email us. Like it's great. Yeah. We love you guys. It's great. So, but as always, thank you for listening. We'll be back in another two weeks with another edition of podcast 572. Thank you, everyone. Have a great one.